Let me get the stuff up. Let me do the thing and the stuff and the thing. No hurry. I'll have to get down. I just realized from my spot. I'm so sad. What? I climbed up the one of the poles. The the power poles that are by uh, like the restaurant. Right. Okay. Sorry, I didn't have the context of what you were talking about. Yeah, and I just realized that there is like no way I can log you in from here. I don't know what the fuck would happen. Yeah. And I'm sad. Okay. TLD. Would you, would you be ready for me to get you in? Uh, I'm loading up the game now, so give me a hot second. Okay. Okay. Uh, open. Oh, look, there's there's a lobby just for you. It's called Desert Bus. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Hi. Hi. Okay, thanks. Stop my trim. Okay. I start strim. Okay. Strim strim. Strim strim. I already um Aquaman. Um. Okay. Okay. I already reset up the truck. Everything had fallen down, so I reset everything up. Uh, for some reason, your sun visor had gotten on my sun visor side. So I put them both back up. Uh, oh. and I already checked that place. First stuff, there wasn't really anything there. So let me finish getting everything set up. And then we'll get everything going. We'll, we'll do the thing. Stop. I have this slow jazz playing, so this is gonna be an extra chill stream for me. Yep. I've got some DMC lo fi stuff going on. I think it's mostly, um, like game music. Mm. Okay. Okay. Lettuce. Continue. Lettuce. On. I like lettuce. We have lettuce in there. I know. We could buy some ham and like hard boil some eggs. Make buy some like shredded carrot. Make a salad. Or buy some chicken. Fry up some chicken. Mm. Buy a little Caesar. Dressing. Mm. You know they sell the uh the all just the Olive Garden dressing. Ah. Hello, Mari. Thank you for the sticker. 
Hey, um, Murray. How doing? I, I, I essentially have. Oh, oh, give me, give me a second. Give me, give me a second. I gotta, I gotta get a stop. I gotta get a stop. I gotta do it. I gotta. Where's my mouse? No, my mouse. No. The long drive did not like that at all. Long drive hated that. Shh. Shh. Mari, I got some. I gotta. I gotta show you something real fast, Mari. I gotta show you something real fast. I love you too. I gotta show you something real, real quick. It's pretty much finished. Hello, Gordon. So. Hey, Cybrick. Thanks for the dog. You'll, uh, you'll get it within the next few days. I just finished it today. So. Uh. It looks really good. It I does. I think you nailed it. Uh, I'm really proud of the effect I did on the hair too, so Yeah, the um, hair is good. The color choices are great. Uh and the background I think is gonna work well. I think you're probably gonna remove that just to not to get the outline around it to get other stickers. Right? It's already got the outline around it, yeah. Yeah. So, um Yeah, I it's and obviously like the inspiration I was coming from was obviously Paper Mario, which wasn't shaded, so I'm not going to bother, like, shading it or anything. Um, but I'll, I'll be able to get that to you here in, in, a, in like, a day or two. Uh, I, had, I had a lot of fun making it, so... And you can have that. You can have that for your stream. <laughs> And I didn't know if you wanted to, like, record a voice line for it, or if you wanted me to record a voice line for it, or whatever. Uh, so I can just give you the image, or I could also, like, record something for it and, and do it as well if you want. It's up to you, but... <laughs> Why not record something for it? Yeah. Cool. Tight. Go do that. That's why I said it'll be like, it'll be probably be tomorrow when I send it over. I sound like death and suffering today. But yeah, I'm super, I'm super fucking excited for that one. I had a lot of fun. Not feeling well, uh, just allergies. Um, as usual. Also, hi, Cybrick. I think I said that, but I might have forgotten it in the excitement. Um, it, I just uh, didn't sleep felt very well, and then I woke up again. Oh my god, apparently we're just Tokyo drifting. We're just doing donuts. Um, woke up with like my nose all stopped up. So. Because pollen's like been very high for the past, I don't know, week? Yeah. Guess who's allergic to pollen? It's me. Yeah, rip. Sag. So. Ugh. 
It yeah, always we're freaks both me out not, when the game comes. Hmm? We're both not feeling super hot today. Like, you have your allergies, my insomnia spiked. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, it was, it was funny. I was like, uh, he got up at some point during the night and, you know, with, with the insomnia. And, um,. Hello, Gordon. Then I'm I'm sleeping, and I hear him come back in. He's like, "Can I please be on the bed too?" Because <laughs> I I had moved apparently to the the exact middle of the bed. Insomnia is a bitch. Um, it is. I was I actually had like an AM stream for once. Uh, Carol showed up. It was nice to hang out and chat with him. Um playing in for space but uh just well, sometimes in a blue moon my something aligns in my body it's like you're not gonna sleep tonight fuck you here's like a 40 hour span where you get no rest uh hello gordon hey Sna. how's the you're playing fortnite now aren't you is he playing the fortnites thank you for the uh lurks the I have something in my eyeball. Die! Ah! So I live at 60 minutes. I thought your brain was no. Your brain was not making. Uh, my brain was making up bad things. I just could not sleep until like 11 a.m. ish. Um, and I took a nap. And Sari woke up before I did. After that, they're doing mm -hmm. laundry right now, which is amazing of them because I'm nigh unfunctional. What needs to be done? It's still appreciated deeply. Um, a mood, yeah. But I'll definitely help you put up the laundry once it's more done after Strem Strem. Oh, yeah, I need to run the dryer again, probably for a little bit. I need to do laundry too. I try to do it like every weekend because we have in our apartment, we just have the little tiny laundry machine um where it where the uh the built together like washer and dryer uh they're, they're stacked yeah but they're not separate machines they're like all one machine yeah you can't separate them like if your washer breaks your dryers has to be thrown out too yeah it's kind of dumb so, really when you think about it yeah and that's the i consider those a little bit different from the stackable ones because uh, stackable ones, I typically think of like the the larger. It's somewhere in between like full size and the miniature uh, that you can stack on top of each other, which I would have much preferred than the one we have. It's not bad. It's just so tiny. So when I'm like when I'm back in my hometown, and you know I have a big full size uh, washer and dryer. It's like I'll go like a month <laughs> without washing my clothes. I'll just go through like every single pair of clothing that I have. And then this this one is like, no, I should probably do it like every week or so. Just keep well, up on it. This set though is inside your one in your hometown is in the garage, so that's yeah. sucks during bad weather. Sucks during the winter. Sucks during the summer. Sucks during the spring. It's okay during the fall. But we were gonna try and see if it could be if we could build it inside. So we could move them inside. I don't know what became of that though. It's, um uh, it's, just, it's doable. It's probably not cheap though, and you have to find a spot in the house. There's already a spot in the house that could potentially be used is, um, there's a closet in between like my grandma's bedroom and the bathroom that's, that she really doesn't use it and it could be like ripped out and have the washing machines fitted in there. Okay. But with everything that's going on, uh, it's probably not going to really be a thing, so. Yeah. But yeah, I just wish that I we could stick a little bit more in there because I'd want to, I, I want to do the bedding without having to rely on the laundry service to do the bedding, you know? Yeah. 
which we need to get that. We get, need to get another load. Uh, we need to- Ah! Uh, we need to get another load of laundry. Ah! Don't hit the rock. Uh, we need to get another load of laundry with the- with the laundry service. I think something fell off, I just don't know what. Uh, sh nothing should have fallen off. Okay, I can't tell my game really, to be honest, so... What would you- Uh, I mean, I see all the- the windows and doors. I still have everything... In the truck. I just see my octopus everything. man flying everywhere, so I just didn't know. Oh, no, he's still there behind your head. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. You still got him. Don't worry. I, I didn't let him go anywhere. I made sure he was here. That's good. I still haven't found any more bat friends. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sad. We'll, do, we'll find him in time. Oh, I did find out, I think, in the last stream for Long Drive, I think we can use the sponge to clean up some of the dash of the center console um, to make it look better. Oh. Okay. So, next yeah, time we I find mean, a sponge I... on the road, you know? Well, we have sponges. Okay, and then the next stop, then. Well, because I knew the sponges were good for... Cleaning up blood. Because apparently, I guess partially the way it works is if you crash and there's blood and you keep driving with like blood on the dash and you crash again, then it'll be fatal. Is what I read on the wiki. The blood on the dash kills you? Well, I guess maybe it just. I don't know. I don't think the blood itself kills you. <laughs> like, I think it's just an indicator of, like... I don't know how it works. Do you expect this game with gigantic killer rabbits to have internal logic? Fair. I just... All I read was that it was important to clean up the... blood on the dash... when you have an accident. Because if you don't and you crash again, it's fatal. Oh boy. I love how every time we show up, it's just going up hills. It's good to just sit here. <laughs> I should have gotten my little wrist thingy before we started streaming. Oh well. Oh, your new um, wrist rest? Yeah, it's a little kitty paw. Aww. I'll use, I'll use the old one. The old one's just a little bit too high for me. It was it was a little uncomfortable, so. Otherwise, it's a very good wrist rest. I I can understand how frustrating it is. Though. It was starting to bother me a little bit to have the, the thing peeling off on the bottom. Hydrate or dehydrate. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'm hydrated. You've hydrated? Mm-hmm. Oh, and, and some chapstick. And a stretch. Oh, she's just going through everything today. Mari chose violence today. Mari chose violence today. No, that's fine. If she really wanted to choose violence, she'd, she'd choose a lot more violence than that. She's helping mm -hmm. me out. Oh, boy. Did you chapstick yet? Yes, I just chapstick. I'm working on the hatred. I'm working on the stretch right now. <laughs> More he chooses violence every day. No, sorry, okay, I'm just gonna wait until this is over with. Go in the stretch. Mm-hmm. Okay, you have ten hydrates from Cyberic. Tight. I mean I find we thirsty. Can violence. Um I I enjoy the violence. I think they call that masochism, but what do I know? I mean, no. It's not quite the same thing. Ah, Bonk! Bonk Cybrick. Okay, can I sneak over and grab some hydrates while this is. while we're going up this hill? Okay.
Ah! <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah, I was in the middle of swallowing with that. <laughs> I did five hydrate. Five, okay. Thank you for the bang, Saravane. Thank you so much, Mari. That's essentially my version of wake up. Good lord. Oh, I think we're getting close to a building. Doggo. Look at that doggo. Um, it's Border Collie. That looks like a scary little demon doggo. Oh my god, I'm just trying to get up this hill. Yeah. You're doing it. You're doing it. Everybody does love that bang. A whole bunch. Uh, we're not gonna bother stopping here. I love how everyone's like, you need to have, like, cooldowns on all this What did the I'm Dorito like, farmer no. say to the other Dorito farmer? Cool Ranch. What did the Dorito farmer say to the other Dorito farmer? Cool Ranch. Wow. Fucking uh, wow. I have a hydrate <gasps> myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've locked yours down so people can't spam them. Yeah. You drink a lot more water regularly than I do, though. Yeah. So. I was talking about this uh, earlier when, um, when Carlos and I were talking about his AC and his heat situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, that since I grew up in a very hot climate that I just acclimated to drinking water regularly to keep, to, to, to take care of myself. Um, mm -hmm. and it just, it's something you sort of learn if you're, uh, uh, used to that kind of thing. Humidity, 100%. Yeah, it's heavy rain right now. I guess that's close to Kuros, because it's France. 64? 64F's not that bad, but for us. For people who probably doesn't have AC, that probably sucks. That temperature's probably not too bad. The humidity probably is miserable, though. Oh, yeah. Because once you get above, like, 95, 99, your natural sweat, because everyone sweats a little bit, no matter what temperature it is. Mm -hmm. Can't go anywhere. So it just builds up and you get like the slime film on your skin. Ugh. Ugh, I can't I not comfortable. Well, let's see. What's what's us? That was funny, Mari. Like uh when he was in chat this morning, I was curious what his weather was, so I checked Paris, of course. And that obviously sent him, which was great. <laughs> He's like, why do you hate me? <laughs> wow, we've apparently got 0% humidity right now. Oh no, 0% rain chance, it's 33% humidity. That's not too bad. Feels like 74. A little warm here, but we got easy compared to a lot of the country, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I think 74 is a little bit cold, to be honest. It's in the 90s here? Oof. Yeah, I mean, I could look up. My hometown's probably baking, to be honest. Yeah, my hometown, it's 90, but it feels like 97. And they have, oh my god, let's see, let's see their humidity. 52%. 52% humidity. At least it's dry. Uh, no, it's not dry. 52% is relatively dry. It's not, it's not a dry heat, though. Oh. Like, 52% humidity is gross in my hometown especially once you can start getting up in like the 110s 
Oh yeah, like 110 no matter what, it's kind of rough. So. No, it is, it is a wet heat. In my hometown. What's sad is that this is probably one of the cooler yeah. summers we'll have to be facing for quite a while. Mm hmm. Given the trends. Mm hmm. <sighs> That's a little depressing. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to name it the correct thing. Yeah, obviously, like, uh, uh, Twitch did not like the idea of me calling it F this I'm out or F this stuff I'm out. It like, I literally had to name it stuff this I'm out uh, because, oh, the fucking, okay, well, we're just going to take a nap then, I guess. Like even uh, Twitch like prevented me from having my fart sound alert, the points one, be called fart. I had to put an umlaut on top of the A to trick it. So that's why it's Fjart. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was fairly annoying, the fact that it was just like, I just want us to call it F this stuff I'm out. And the game was like, nope. Yeah, that's see? not allowed. Thanks for the fart, or Fjart. I had to put an Fjart. underscore and an, un and an umlaut on it. Get it past Twitch. Why is fart so offensive? Fart's a naughty word. I mean, you can say to, you can buy it. <laughs> uh, is that like the side dish to like the meatballs? Cause that would make sense. No, it does sound like more like just the fear, fear, fear nature. Fear nature. Fear nature. I don't know, fam. I don't know either. Twitch is weird. Hedge. Oh, that makes me want to watch Deadpool 1 again because there's like so many IKEA jokes in the beginning of that movie. Hmm. Where's Lob when you need him? I don't know. I don't know where Lob is. He shows up occasionally. Yeah. He's off. I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he's at IKEA. Yeah, it's good, pretty good meatballs. I I would legitimately shop at IKEA. Like I'm, I like their stuff. I think it's decent for the price. I like. Well, I mean, I buy less of their furniture and more of like the housewares and stuff like that. I oh like yeah, that's definitely a better deal because like that you don't have to worry about the structural integrity as much. Really. Well, and well, and I'll, I will say none of the furniture I've bought at IKEA ever fell apart. I have not had such luck. But uh, like my little ghost lamp that I have on my desk. That's from Ikea. Hmm. Uh, so... I like, I like the houseware section. I don't really give a shit about the furniture. I like the housewares. Housewares are nice and definitely better bang for buck than like uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Places like mm -hmm. that or Target. Most of my major furniture is from Ikea. Our mattress, our couch, and dining room table and chairs. We also have glasses and plates from there too. Yeah, like their glasses and plates are a great deal. Oh well, yeah. And they're super cute. My furniture is a, uh, an amalgamation of hand-me-downs, Pure One, and Casper for my mattress. Oh. And once I move in, we're gonna have an even more amalgamation of just shit. Bro. Yeah, my couch and coffee table and one of my blankets uh, was a set from Pier 1 years ago. I didn't have a couch. Um, 
and my aunt's like visiting like you want a couch i'm like okay if you're paying for it i'm not gonna argue with you my bought my aunt bought me a couch and uh a, a while back that's a good couch very comfy to sleep on yeah it's it's like coming up on 10 years old now doggo look at that doggo puggle adorable puggle pier one's a decent store at least was um just a little pricey but if you don't mind the price of it like the quality is fine the service is fine they have a, like cheap delivery uh all in all it was like a very you know adequate store nothing supremely great but it wasn't like cheap either it was like middle of the road okay um i i can't really complain about that uh though i will say like the mattress frame and bed frame i have were not from Pier One. Those were from some tiny hole in the wall mattress store that was having a sale like 50% off. And when I was when I first moved out after school, and I needed a bed obviously because like all I had was an inflatable mattress for all these years when I was in college. Um, uh, um, and so I, I, I saw that on the freeway, I pulled over and, and went to check it out. And they had one unit left of their memory foam mattress with a box spring, with a frame, free delivery, 300 bucks for a full size. That's how much of a good sale that was on. And I'm like, I'll take it. You deliver mm -hmm. it, I'll take it. Well, now, with, now the bed frame we have is from Amazon. Oh yeah, we replaced the bed frame. That's true. Yeah, um, we, we had to replace the bed frame. Yeah, that last one was falling apart. It was, it was not well made, but for the price, it it lasted a good while. Um, oh yeah. And now, sometimes I regret buying this new bed frame. Oh, because the squeaks, yeah. Yeah, it's very squeaky. Which is what we were trying to buy a new bed frame to get rid of was the squeaks. So Amazon, you know, sells some decent stuff. You know, like they treat their workers like crap, but they have decent products. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. Being one hundred. For the relook, Snow. Yeah, thanks, Snow. Hope you're having a good day. Probably can't hear us, but we're, we're thinking about you. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, like the the Amazon frame, besides its squeakiness, is actually looks great. It works great. It, mm -hmm. It's fine. Me screwing up the screws. Ah, uh, that's fine. We fixed it with some tape, with lots and lots of tape. Yeah, like I, I apparently misjudged uh, which screw went to which hole at the right angle, and I thought it was just being stubborn, so I just brute forced it in. No, it was wrong. They already fixed it though, because they're awesome. Lots and lots of tape. I think we actually have WD-40. I'm 90% certain we have it somewhere. Uh, because I think I bought some. I just don't know if, if it would help. Mostly it's just like if if I if I'm sitting up and like leaning against the headboard, like the headboard will squeeze. Yeah, because it's not like it's like a joint that's stuck per se. It's more like just like the screw hoists are are metal, so they squeak against each other. And yeah. so like if you breathe or if you shift, you know, weirdly in the bed, it squeaks. And we put one of the spare pillows behind the back or that helped it to try to cushion some of the movement. But there's still some. Yeah, we need to pull that pillow back up a little bit. I think it's falling down, and that's probably one of the reasons the head uh, a little bit. But it, uh, it it's not bad. It's just it's an inconvenience. Yeah, guy sleeps right through it. Anyways. Well, of course, I sleep through a natural disaster. We've established that. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I don't quite I don't quite sleep through it as much. Yeah. But. Yeah, because you were a light sleeper in comparison. 
I think next time maybe wooden bedroom. So mm -hmm. bedroom. Metals is usually cheaper. Sounds like Starblade and me. Um, yeah. That's fair. Like a, a a mosquito sneezes, you know, three towns away, and I wake up. And there's me who slept through Northridge and Superstorm Sandy. Not hyperbole. Do the rest of your hydrates? Mm hmm. Okay, I'll complete them then. Come on, Twitch. There you go. We were working to answer for Swarm Sandy at a vet hospital, and that was fun. Oh no! That must have been. You got to babysit the whole hospital. Oof, that must have been loud AF. Yeah, because I'm sure all the pets were, like, freaking out because, you know, massive hurricane. Mm-hmm. Patience and all, yeah. Uh, I didn't have to worry about it because, you know, landlocked state! I just get tornadoes instead. And earthquakes. And earthquakes! And honestly, and earth yeah, but honestly, I don't find earthquakes all that bad. Probably because I grew up with them, but like, they're just like an inconvenience for me. Hashtag <laughs> New Jersey living 20 minutes from the beach. Yeah, mm. that would do it. Yeah. It's kind of funny here, the amount of hatred people here have for New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. Continue. I've never been in New Jersey, I don't think. It's a bit fair we deserve it sometimes. All I pretty much know about New Jersey is don't ever drive into New Jersey on accident because you have to pay to leave. Yep. I think it speaks for itself that you can enter Jersey for free, but you have to pay to leave. So. That's my hot take. I got told, don't ever take a wrong turn into New Jersey. Not like, you know, the residents will, you know, murder you and steal your kidneys. No, you have to pay to leave New Jersey. <laughs> it's like, well, I guess if I drive into New Jersey, I'm just staying there, huh? Oh, you can do it the long way around. There is a free route. It's just like an extra three hours. Oof. I got told there's a joke in there. Can we make it up this hill? I don't think so. There definitely is. Definitely is a joke in there. Oh yeah. It's a sad one. It's a one you have to laugh, otherwise you'll just be sad about it. You gotta laugh and said you would cry. Mm-hmm. To be fair, I'm, I'm used to just being told for living places. Like, uh, highway tolls, so. Hmm. Like, Florida was bad about that. Yeah. I mean, even... PA sorta is bad about that. Hmm. 
sells like 60 bucks. Bonkers. Oh my god, the turnpike's horrendous. Turnpike's highway robbery, literally. Oh dear, we're going backwards. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, we're going on an adventure. Oh dear. Forgot to put the handbrake on. Hey. That's one of the things I do not miss about living in New Jersey and visiting friends in PA and New York. The fucking tolls. Yeah! yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Super Dude, expensive. I know a lot about those tolls. Super inconvenient. And I like they actually use the money to fix the fucking roads. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, and to be honest, going the free route isn't that much more time. It only adds like a hour or so, I think, onto the drive. But when you're driving, like, halfway across the country to go visit somebody, you don't want to spend another hour fucking driving. You've already driven enough hours. Yeah. Because I've done the free route a few times, and then I just decided to start biting the bullet and paying the tolls, and it sucks. It's so expensive. And like the toll lanes are like, it, it goes from like two lanes to like eight or 10 and then all the way back down to two. So everybody's just doing like some sort of like free for all. I'm just like, oh God, my poor car. I'm gonna get in a wreck. It's so stressful. And it's so stressful. Look forward to more of that because like the latest infrastructure bill has Provisions where more roads are going to be privatized like that. Oof. Fuck off. That's going to be fucking great. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know what? At least that's one good thing about the long drive. There's no tolls. Maybe that's where all the gold bars came from. Maybe that is where all the gold bars came from. Really expensive fucking tolls. Well, does that make me the person who's just stealing everybody's tolls? Maybe. Oh, cool. Tight. But yeah, no, I... My home state has tolls. And now PA has tolls and I'm just like, wow! FML. And I just live in a state that doesn't, you know, expect me to pay hand or foot to drive somewhere. <laughs> Why is it wherever we in the heli country dice? I don't know. Hey, at least I can just use the automatic go forward button. Oh, Dice Bot is having a day. Yeah, when the timer's aligned like that, they're just get a little chatty. Dice Bot just going. Is this also hey. the slow drive? It is. Hello, Liquid. This is the slow drive, yes. Hey, Liquid. How doing? How you been? I'm going up a hill at the insane speed of like zero kilometers per hour. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't go up this hill any faster. The shaky drive, yeah, it's pretty shaky. Uh, Dice's car wants to be a submarine and hasn't quite figured it out. So. You can't watch it. I understand. I don't think Dice even really watches his own stream right now. I'm keeping an eye on it, making sure it is not crashing, but I really 
can't focus on it too much because motion and all that. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair. Oh yeah, that's part of the reason I ended up having to like in be the host was because I was having too much like motion sickness being the client. Yeah. I'll just deal. I need to rework the bot timers because mm -hmm. like I consolidated all the affiliate links to one timer. So mm -hmm. I can probably consolidate more like that to keep the chatting this down. Oh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't really a criticism. It was more just dice bot was like, it's my time to shine. And then therefore went for it. Saga Gamers is now following. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. How to be Hi. quiet. She's a great my hair, right? And 15 viewers. Well, Hello, I'm born yesterday. Hello, everyone. Hi. Boy, mate, he's now following. Welcome in. They might not get it. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Gordon. In your mouth. Now following. Welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, yeah, there you, you get it. You're all getting it. Okay, good. <laughs> in. Uh, I remember that part. That was on the TV scene, I think. Thank you all for the follows. Holy crap. Welcome. Quiet. Today Hello, Gordon. Following. Welcome in. What happened to my truck? My truck is trying to be a submarine because I'm the client in a multiplayer game of following. The Long Drive. Welcome in. I am playing with my partner, Seri. You've probably seen them in various other channels. They're also co-streaming. is now following. So feel free to go give them a follow. Um, if you like to see both perspectives, one, you know, Hello, Gordon. cursed, Hello, one Gordon. not cursed, they're there. Nice. Oh, hey, Jojo. Nice. 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 Thank you for the five gift subs, Spudgers. Speak easy. Hello, Gordon. Jojo Hello, says Gordon. Is now following. Okay, Jojo, Welcome I saw nothing. How you doing? Don't do that. It's automated. It already happened. <laughs> Spudges speakeasy just gifted five subs. Oh my goodness. Hey, Rohak. Thank you for the biddies. Do a barrel roll. You love that song? The, like, the alert song or just the passive, like, jazz? What is this madness on screen? This is the long drive as a client. But the worst that you can say. Things are better if you stay. So long and good night. So long and good night. <laughs> oh no. That's a hype train. Oh my goodness, guys. Hello, Gordon. I've become a girl. I said, I said I'm Okazaki. And I've be become a girl. <laughs> I don't understand how did you become a girl all of this? Oh, that got clipped short. I don't know why. I'll have to try to fix that. It worked earlier. I promise you. Thank you for the biddies, Rohak, Dr. Tadichi. Uh, thanks for the five gifts, Subspudgers. And thank Tadichi. you. Thank you. Uh, for both the 200 bits and the 69 bits. Thank you for all the follows. There's just too many to list, but I appreciate every single one of them. Uh, oh, damn. Chris Thank you for the follow. Now following. Welcome uh, in. How's everyone doing? How was how'd you uh, how's the end of Hydroneer? I wasn't there for most of it, but uh seemed like you were having a good time. Spike Maester 9 is now following. Hey Welcome Liz! In. How doing? Holy crap. Too many puns. That, that's the best part, Jackie. Come on. By the way, you should probably introduce yourself. Oh yeah, duh. Thanks. Thank you, honey. Uh, my I lose my head if I wasn't attached to my neck. I'm Desert Ice. Thanks for short. He him. Uh, do variety games, single player, nice. co-op really games like the Long Drive. Well, thank you for the pun, tweet. Thank you for the bits too. Harumphenstein is now following. 
welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let it go quite out. Oh, he'll never let it go, and that's fine. Perfectly welcome. Um, so yeah, we're just playing the long drive, trying to have a chill evening, um, listen to good music. Hey, Tina. Ready to Tina is now following. Welcome in. Uh, but yeah, uh, so we are doing the long drive. Uh, again, playing with my partner, uh, Sadi Tuscumbia. Um, do go give them a follow if you want to see if, like what Dark the long drive is supposed to look like is now um, from the host perspective. Street Elements is having a struggle today. I love it. That trailer hitch might be loose. Hey Jojo. Hey Jojo. Um, and again, if you want to see the multi perspective, there you go. Um, and we're like, I think pretty close to about halfway, right, honey? Uh, I can say it real fast. Let me see. Okay. It's fine, Jojo. Don't worry. Thanks for the sticker, Surf. We are. Drum roll. 2249. Is this playable? Define playable. Nominal no, joke. Because, like, for me, if I just want to chill in the passenger seat and just hang out, chat, um, listen to some good music, you know, maybe peek at Reddit here, here and there, or work on bot stuff, it's perfectly playable. But, like, most of the time, it's nigh impossible for the client to be driving in the current multiplayer build of the long drive. And we're on a LAN network. It's not network issues. Uh, we have very good latency. This is just the network code of the long drive not being up to 100%. And I know it's still like in an alpha branch, so I know they're, they, he, them, I, I don't know how many people are on the team uh, are still working on it. So. The fact is though, like once I get about half an hour, an hour in, um, sometimes my game scene will actually sync up with Sari's game world. And I, I'll get the road back. Things will start making more sense. I'll have buildings. The car but stops trying to be- In my long drive, it's more likely than you think. Yes. Oh, this is official, I assume it was modded. No, this is not modded. This is any official um, alpha branch of the long drive that supports multiplayer. Uh, it's still a work in progress, as you can see. Um, but it's playable in the aspect if you don't mind being like the passenger if you're not the, of the host. Like, to have it really be successful, you need the host to be the driver, unfortunately. And one thing I wish they hopefully fix in the near future, uh, the host's progress gets synced to the client. Hello, Gordon. Support is a strong word, yeah. Honestly, if you told me this how it was supposed to be, I wouldn't be shocked. That's fair, Nominal Joe. Uh, it is a, like, Long Drive has like a, a built-in layer of jank that's a, a bit much sometimes, or it's a very um, omnipresent, I should say. Um, uh so this being the default like addition is definitely very plausible sandworm addition <laughs> that's a good one uh yeah like some dune action or something um or that'd be like tremors tremors would be more appropriate yes long drive tremors edition oh goodness we are also like um playing this pretty much more or less vanilla in the sense that we're not really building, you know, a buster sword to chop down UFOs or uh, accumulate the, the most goldish of objects. Um, we're basically just driving a diesel truck with a diesel tank so we can refill ourselves as we go. And we do collect some items that are more pragmatic for the most part in the trailer in the back and it's back there so it's a little more organized. Watch out, there'll be thresher trucks. 
Business Collision Simulator, yes. Um, I do have like a sticker idea at some point I need to put together that has like the collision sounds the long drive and some sort of visual, uh, the work in progress. Um, but you know how it goes. Uh, works in progress and like I'm constantly tinkering small things. I need to do more bot stuff and whatnot, but yeah. So I may have lost your message quiet, but how was um, the end of Hydroneer? Uh, I know you're working on, last thing I saw was sort of the ascending conveyor belts. And I think you had to flip it around a little bit to make it align with the processing machine. Look at this thing. Thank y'all for the level two hype chain. Hype train, bleh, I cannot speak today. Huh. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate all the subs and the bits and all that. Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, I saw, okay, your, your last message quite was the cheer. Okay, cool. That was about six minutes ago. <sighs> yeah, this is like, long drive is an adventure in jank for sure. Um, no way around it, but you know, we're making progress, we're almost halfway, and you know, it's, it's a good time, not gonna lie. There it is. Um, do you know I played co-op long drive she wasn't able to drive without sending us both flying through the map? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I think I've seen that clip, uh, Jojo. Um, either on Jill's channel or your channel, I'm not sure, if not both. But yeah, like essentially, you just, the, the host has the driver to make sure you keep it somewhat manageable. Uh, luckily there's parts where it's like this, where my version of the world has the truck above the ground. So we're sort of just gliding down. So it's less chaotic with this and more just like, the uh, truck, is, you know, the truck is gliding and the trailer is sort of having issues there. Um, but it's just a struggle from the client's perspective. So I usually just take these opportunities and streams to just relax, chat with chat, um, do some background like uh, maintenance things. Um, again, like work on bot stuff. Um, or do paperwork. Once I'll do a little bit of paperwork. Um, but yeah, uh, hope everyone's doing well. I hope you are all having a good Monday, a happy Juneteenth. I uh, hopefully uh, everyone was able to observe it well. It's so shiny here. Yeah, this is Iceland. Apparently, how to be quiet. Jojo says Bree just subscribed. Thanks for the sub, Jojo. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. I guess that was her threat. <laughs> I'll keep giving you things, Jojo. Too bad. Give Jojo all the things. Yeah, because Jojo's awesome. Definitely give her all the support because she deserves it. And give Quiet all the things. Quiet all the things, a bunch of people. I'm gonna do some proper shout outs. Um, but B, are you having issues? Right. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you for the sticker, it, Mari. Oh, it did it again. Give Jojo all the stuff. It did it again. It's not picking up my microphone right now. <laughs> but it was in the lobby. Jack, take this, but here it doesn't. And all I did was plug my VR back in. This is the VR bug you were talking about last night. I remember this. Uh, you were talking about the bug last night. I think you discovered it earlier, where the newest build of Faz has issues with like the VR setup, which mic it picks, right? Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the devs can get that fixed. Cause I'm sure that's annoying for a lot of people. Uh, okay. You know, Mario, you can do it too. I think VIPs have access. 
But yeah, we can do that. See what it picks this time. There we go. How many pieces do you usually have at one time? Two. So I can blow bubbles. Uh, so it invented last me. Time I, asked I trust my BIPs. Doing step, bro. Oh, uh, fuck me, daddy. Yep, that's um par for the course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, that was some hot librarian judge of shit. Yeah, and the dialogue, A++++++, plus 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 plus, really good. I enjoyed it deeply. <sighs> um, that was my hot librarian day, lol. I have to say, Jojo, like, <laughs> glasses can fit you really well sometimes. Like, you pull it off really well. That's all I'm going to say. There, you could probably say more than me. Um, but it's always always good to chill in uh, JoJo stream. It's awesome. I'm glad I pulled them off because I need them. <laughs> uh, it's a sticker, Mari. Of course, definitely uh, go give Sarah Vane a follow if you haven't yet. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. She's always hanging out in here too. Um, now you are Arnie. Always. Where are you? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, not, that's pretty far for the course. Um, perfect. Yep, very succinctly serving. Now that I'm going but, down a hill, I can also. Hmm? Hmm. I'm trying to get people to shut up, but I have to wait until we're going down the hills. <laughs> oh, goodness, you're trying to multitask? You can just ask me. I'm actually available. No, you're busy. Fine. I'm not that busy. But I'm having a great time with chat today. Ah. But that was a great clip, Murray. I love it. I love like your interactions with Karos all the time because like it's, they're so organic and hilarious. I, 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 that's why I love chilling your guys' streams because like the the interactions are so good. You just uploaded all your clips to YouTube and rewatched rewatched them as you're uploading that one. How you rolling? Yeah, that one's a good one. Like that's succinctly you, I think. Succinctly you. You're very like. There's a lot of overlap between you two, and it's. They're both great people. So of course there's gonna be a lot of overlap. Um Hello, Gordon. Hey Zatasha. Baguette Hornius eminently clippable. Yeah. We love our we love our baguette. Hopefully he's uh um beating the heat. So I know he's having a he's been having a rough few days. Today's supposed to be better for him, but I think he's getting rain today. No, you, no, you, Mari. You weren't safe by the liquid. Huh? I also liquid didn't get to save uh, stay away from the shadows either. Um, yeah, if you're not following liquid, he's an awesome streamer. Um, our overcooked baguette. <laughs> he is right now. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, do a lot of good variety streaming. Holy crap! I hit him with the first shot. No. It rained on him, so now he's boiled. Ooh, no boiled way. baguette. That doesn't sound very good. No. Oh, you too. This one. Puddle Pal 2. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, Welcome in. 
Thank you. Appreciate you. Are we out of Iceland now? Uh, no, not yet. Uh... Yeah, I... Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Hello, Gordon. Everything's fine. Hey, Liquid. I was shouting you out because you're awesome. And then my bot re-shouting out because that's your first chat. Because I've automated that because I'm weird. You're not weird. I stop. am weird. Wait, nope. Stop saying. Nope. Stop it. You mean weird in the bad way. So stop it. I'm weird in the eccentric way. You you mean the bad way. Whatever. I need to step away for a bit. I got a new rug I need to install. I need to clean up before Reliever shows up tomorrow. I'll keep you all both on there and I'll be listening. Okay, thank you, Jojo. Thank you, Jojo. Is that a Reliever for me? Yes, I'm sorry that everything happened with the airlines. Yeah. It's such a shitty situation for her. Give her both a, give give her a big hug for everybody. I'm sure she'll need it. Yeah. Hey, and not be, being weird is good. I'm glad she's still making it too. Yeah. Yeah. I really hope that we can figure out like a PayPal or another way we can support her because I'm sure that hospital uh, not hotel stay words. Uh, wasn't cheap on the last minute like that, and I'm sure yep. plenty of people in the community want to help her out on that. Yeah, I don't know why either. It, I, I'm sure part of it's being international, mm -hmm. but whatever mechanism like we can come up with uh, together, I'm sure there'll be people that want to you know rally behind that and help her out. Soften that blow. We could, but how? I guess Jojo could just give her cash at that point. Yeah, Jojo could just give her cash. Jojo could just yeah. pull cash up and give her cash. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll chat later, Jojo. We'll, we can find something out and um hopefully help out Reliever because gotta help out our own. But you get that rug people. installed. Yeah, nice rug. It's a the very best. nice no, rug. You're the best. But yes, there is nothing wrong with being weird. There's just several different ways you can use the word weird. Mm -hmm. And when Dice Dice was like, I have it all automated because I'm weird. That means you're saying that like somebody who's quote unquote not weird wouldn't do that. But like, no, like I think it's cool that you have all that automated. That's That's neat. That's the good kind of weird. That's not the bad kind of weird. I do it a bit much, admittedly. Yeah, but like most of your job is all about how to automate stuff. So true, but like it's weird, for lack of a better word, to bring what I do for my job into my stream is automate the gills out of it. Um, but it's cool. It's neat. If you say so. I'm not gonna argue with you. Gonna... You, you want you gonna you gonna punch me in the throat or kick me in the shins? I'm gonna go in there and hug you. Mr. Talker does that. It's neat. Okay. I know like a few other streamers do a lot of good automation. I know Jojo has a great automated setup. Um, that's really impressive. Um, and I've adapted a few ideas from her a little bit. Or at least they've inspired some of the stuff I've done. But nothing super dramatic. That is definitely context. true, Cetacea. Yeah. It definitely depends on context. Cause like normal, weird, eccentric, I think it really depends on the subject you're talking about and the, and the area you're discussing. That's very true. Good point. Yeah, that's why I was saying you were doing the bad weird. Hello, Gordon! But like Liquid said, everyone is weird. Mm -hmm. I find automation just really thrilling to see like a little thing happen and then like various things kick off off that trigger and just do what you want in a series and sort of like a recipe. And then effectively for a little bit of work, you get a lot of stuff done, mm -hmm. right? There's a lot of upfront work to prepare all that, but that's like a one time or a very low cohesion thing.
I usually describe myself as a weirdo. Oh yeah, no, I I also do that. Yeah, same here. I am I am weird AF. <laughs> Okay. If you're good at something, if you enjoy it or find satisfaction, then why not? We'll do yeah, oh, I just do it because like that is my nature. I, I find satisfaction in the end results. Some of the work in between is fun, some degree, depending on the situation. But like, I like the process, I guess I should say. Like, I like the end result and some of the overarching process. What is this truck doing? Struggling its way up a hill. Have fun yeah. for the next five minutes of being submarine truck as we very, very slowly go up the hill. There we go. I just had to get that recorded because this is like ridiculous beyond ridiculous. Um, the route of the struggle bus is subterranean. <laughs> so like this reminds me of uh, that one movie where they had built like a an Antonium tr uh, train to go to the core of the Earth to detonate nuclear bombs to restart like the rotating in the mantle so like the magnetic field gets restored only lower budget what is the reason for the insane amount of disconnect between host and client in this game it so i don't think it's disconnect specifically liquid i think it's just desync i think the synchronization is fucking oh, no. terrible oh no everything's um, fine there, we are technically connected still um but what my game thinks is happening and what Sari's game thinks is happening are two different things. And so mine's trying to react and then gets told what's reality partially by their game. And then more chaos happens and then wash, rinse, repeat. But yeah, it's no problem. Thrusher trucks, yeah, this is Thrusher Mania for sure. Everything's fine. Um, We're just going fine. on an adventure. Perfectly normal. And sometimes when my terrain is similar to Seri's terrain, the truck is less chaotic, let's say. Um, relatively speaking. Usually I call it, you know, I, I call it a win when uh, I get far enough to where the terrain generation syncs up and then I get the road again. The road is a treat for my game as the client. This is actually a supernatural truck simulator. We're interpreting only partial truck messages from the other side. Yeah, like a poltergeist like spinoff. I dig it. I dig it. Sync via Ouija. Ouija board. A Luigi you board? You got a Luigi board? A wedgie board? God, I need to make a clip out of that or something. Can't you will do odd things too, like you. boss? You're not, I didn't disagree. I just had to think of a good thing to do with it. It's too funny not to do something with it though. Uh, Genshin will do odd things. Sliding way and co-op, boss, polys are all in one place, hitbox another. S multiplayer synchronization is an art form. It's very difficult to do properly and seamlessly. Um, because the way to do it and make it believable is not that complicated in concept but you also have to uh meet that need with the reality that not all people have great internet connections right so you have to find the balance to where game feels natural enough but your bandwidth bandwidth consumption and latency tolerance um and drop packet tolerance are within bounds to where it works for enough people um so like Sarah and I are pretty lucky in the sense that we're on you know, a gigabit network on a gigabit internet. Uh, there's plenty of people that are on like 3G, 4G hotspots, satellite, mid-tier DSL, cable that's, you know, multi-clienced to the gills. It was not originally intended to be multi. I think multi has been added pretty far after the fact. And again, still very much work in progress. 
Uh, this is technically an alpha branch. Um, the dev is updating it from time to time, but it has a long way to go, in my opinion. Um, I haven't done multiplayer game dev in ages, so... Uh, Hell yeah. Wait, sorry, I got the dice you gifted me, but I haven't opened it because I want to do it on stream. Oh, nice. The butter the Unifer dice on throne. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. That looks really cool. I want a pair of myself, but I was like, I'll just, I'll just give, I'll just give Mari them. That's fair. Sometimes this game feels like it doesn't, it isn't meant to be played. That's fair. I mean, it's fine on my end. It's not too bad on series end. Like there's still some some jank, but nowhere near what I I I worked with here. Three three megabyte was at best seven milliseconds, but one G is one gigabit is one most stable. The experience, yeah. Uh, yeah, not everyone like depending on where you are and what situation you're in. Like your internet like choices, especially at least in the U.S., are very reduced. Um. So. At least from the game, from the perspective like game de development or multiplayer game development, you have to walk this line between like doing the most with like a very low internet capability like budget. Um, back in the day, I think uh, the Xbox 360 multiplayer or the PS3 uh, had a requirement where you had to have like 10% or 50% packet loss tolerance for your game engine and still work. "Quote unquote work." It's not a sponge. Not find a sponge. I found a sponge. Sponge. I thought it was sponge, but it was poo. Uh, who could be a sponge if you're brave enough? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing a little dance. It's sort of you know practicing its hydraulics. Um, I do like the long drive in that it's very unique in its jank. I think. I think some some of it's intentional and designed and novel to some degree because of it, like the random severed limbs. Very unique. Um, but uh, liquid no. But Not the desync, I don't. I think is less in the design doc of it. Um, so I think that's something they are working through. Um, the last patch they did like a month ago ish, three weeks a month ago. Um, did help a little bit still yeah uh, has work to go um i hope they fix the like the the disconnecting of the the the, well, the, the, the unattaching of items when we reload that's annoying mm -hmm. the broken bodies and those rabbits the rabbits look really weird on the climb because i think their initial orientation on my perspective is off so it looks like they're like just face down in the dirt like an ostrich but running around with their animation with their legs up in the air it's bizarre it's i don't understand it you've seen it right honey mm -hmm. oh yeah there's tons of laughs to be had like there is so many like unique experiences that happen organically in this game it's a love it's lovely in that sense Oh yeah. Like one thing I love is let's see. That's in this branch and it's a little more updated than the main line. Hi. Oh, you're doing that, okay. Is that your zoom bugs out your eyes. So you get like this like cartoon effect of like a wooga. I think everything's clean in here. I think everything's good. Oh good. Looks much nicer. Did you do like the uh sun visors? I tried. Okay. Maybe need the spray instead. Also, our torsos are not where they should be. Rib cages are not meant to be like this. Go figure. So Dice and I figured that this isn't Earth and we're actually aliens. Mm. And it's a post-apocalyptic situation in which everyone has been turned into rabbits for the most part. That's the canon we have so far, yeah.
Now, having boobs on their back is not usually conducive to uh, normal human operation. I don't have those organs really, so I can't opine too much beyond that. But I, I would guesstimate breasts on the back less useful or like less by design. I don't know. And or limbs being eaten by rabbits. Yeah, cannibalistic or uh, carnivorous rabbits is definitely unusual. I just want a hug. I don't think there's really anything else here. Uh, we... Are you sure it's not Earth and everyone except you was turned into a rabbit and you were turned into a human-colored Gumby? Um... Plausible. I forget why I decided it wasn't Earth. Was it the blood mail? No, it was something else. I don't remember now why we decided it wasn't Earth. We all decided it wasn't Earth. We decided it wasn't Earth. Thanks for the sticker, Rohak. Oh, it was them. the sun. It was the fact that when the moon, like the moon will completely traverse across the sky, but um, you still have like several more minutes of darkness before the sun even comes up. And I was like, that's not how the earth works. Hmm. Yeah. So We're I decided on a different this planet. Came here. Yeah, yeah. we have to be on a different planet where the sun and the moon don't work as well. The different like orientation of this uh, planetary system. Yeah, that makes sense. We're going do you on think an that, adventure so I can get up this hill. Do you think like the long drive in Icarus to share universes? Yeah. Cause there's some weird jank in that game too. There's some weird ass jank in that game. So. I still need to DM Bob to see if when and if he wants to play that again. That's how the earth works if you're too busy programming gold bars to appear in toilets. <laughs> True. Hey, Mira. Hope you're enjoying your vacation. Thank you for all the farts, Mira. Mira, did, Mira made it first. Mira got the first. Mira got the first. That's because Mira's first in my heart. Aww. Toot. Thank you for the farts. Yeah, those rabbits are definitely mean drunks. They just... I don't know what they drink. Maybe it's like too much tequila or some bad vodka or... Blood. What? Blood? Blood. Fermented blood or just blood blood? Blood mixed with alcohol. And maybe some diesel mixed in it as well. You know, that would have been used by now. Nah. Um, that would make sense. Wait. Somebody has to be breaking in to the ships that we keep seeing. So that's true. And the ships being landlocked like this. Less likely to happen on Earth with it's at least right now with the current climate, maybe in yeah. the future. But a literal Bloody Mary trucker edition because you have to have diesel, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, or mm -hmm. gas, gas works too. But gas I mean, it's like work. you have you have you have a very limited amount of uh liquid options in this game blood, water, alcohol, diesel, gas, oil, yeah. right? Yeah. I still find it amazingly weird that when I was reading the wiki, we found out that the letter from mom has like five liters of blood in it. Yeah. And cactus. True. You can drink the cactus. Yeah. That's effectively water, really though. Nasty scene. Coal opened and drained, drained the Great Lakes. That'd be a baby. That'd be a huge sinkhole, though. The only liquid you need is right here. Oh, I don't want to mash you up and stick you in my radiator, though. Liquid. And I don't think you're very lubricating for the engine block as oil. No. Despite the best of intentions. Yep. 
I, I would prefer you to be like my car mate rather than in my car. So. Yeah. Not with an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's a matter of attitude, Rohak. I think with the best of intentions, like some things are just not the most conducive to a proper functioning of mechanics. But what do I know? I well, just made computer go beep boop. You don't know me. You don't know my life. I could be very slippery. I mean, I still don't. Still, I still don't think that's how it works, Liquid. Though, I still. Mm. I don't think that's how it works. Um, cause, cause like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what? That's the handbrake. Oh no, my sunglasses have decided to escape my face. Ugh, put this back on. Okay, so, so liquid. This is this this is the size of our radiator. This this is our radiator liquid. Do you think you do you think you can fit in that? It's pretty it's pretty thin. It's pretty thin. It's pretty flat. I mean, I don't think There are parts of me that can fit. True. I still don't think blood makes a Well, we were having a discussion with Wilkes the other night. Mm -hmm. Parts of blood could definitely make a decent uh, coolant, but the entirety of it probably wouldn't work well because the platelets, for one, and the red blood cells maybe. But plasma, since it's more thermally dense than regular water, would actually probably work pretty well. Yeah. I think in this game, in the context of the long drive, it does accept blood in the, cool in the radiator. And it accepts pee, apparently. You can urinate in the radiator, and it does accept urine. Which would I don't think would be a very good thing to put in your radiator in your actual car. Blood radiator? No, I'm not going to do a blood radiator. Our water one's working perfectly great. It hasn't leaked at all. No, it hasn't leaked a single damn bit. It's been fantastic been amazing um but speaking of p like i also find it hilarious that this game at least in this build of it canonically has she wees in it because mm -hmm. like the f the feminine presenting model p standing up too yep so she wees are canonically f hand out to everyone oh you want to you want some farts with Julian? Tulian's here for some farts. Yeah, Tulian's here for some farts. Deathlock would be disappointed in you. Deathlock may be disappointed. I like the trailer flying away. It's doing its damnedest to get into the atmosphere. We do. Um, we have noticed there are planes in this world. We don't know if anyone's in them though. Oh yeah, I'll have to find another thing and actually get my binoculars out. And yeah. Show people the plane. Like it's modeled and everything. It's pretty amazing. Has jet trails. Also also UFOs. Oh yeah. Well, I think yeah, the UFOs are pretty well known because like they Wait. will just come along and mess up your day. I don't see them as the client. I just hear Sari freaking out when there's a UFO and we stop moving. And I'm like, what going on? What happened? And I'm like those bitch ass fucking UFOs. Stop my car again. Plot twist, the UFOs are just normal planes. They don't have jet trails. Maybe they're like prop planes. Maybe they're like helicopters. I don't think prop planes send off an EMP around them either. True. What kind of plane would do that? I know it's like radar scanning planes that might be able to do it if you cherry rig the dish on them. Kinda. There's also mobile laser platforms. Well, that's kind of like an EMP. I feel like I've eaten a lot already. What food are you making? Alien plants. So alien plants are probably normal. True. Going back to the earlier talks about the what's canon for this planet, not Earth, alien planet. So alien planes makes sense. Mm-hmm. Where are the aliens on this planet? True. 
And we already determined that the UFOs are all going to the gas station from Gas Station Simulator. Yes. The, this. Now we have established this game shares universes with both Icarus and, game, and Gas Station Simulator. Yep. I mean, the... Uh, Satisfactory sh clearly shares universes with Midnight Ghost Hunt. Yeah. Yeah. So, you can have the prospector from Satisfactory in as a skin in Midnight Ghost Hunt, which means Midnight Ghost Hunt and uh, Satisfactory share universes. Mm hmm. Your cats are melting. Oh no! Not the kitties. Are they draped across the sofa? Have you seen your weird zombie body death with the alien? Maybe that's normal on this planet, Caroline. We don't know. I don't know. Like, why is there only one road? I think they built the road for us, like non-UFO using aliens. Yeah, we're like the lower caste of society. We don't get UFOs. We don't get planes. We have to drive on four wheels and most everyone else is on uh... Damn, the Lord oh, lost me. I wasn't me. going that way. I was uh -oh. saying that they they built us a road to keep us happy. To like keep us entertained. Fair. Yeah, I can see that. Because who knows what shit we would get up to if we weren't being entertained by the fact that we're literally just... Because there's nothing in this game that really ties me to the road. You know, like, you can look out in the distance and find houses, like, super far away from the road. Yeah. I don't know how far out you can go, though, because I'm... Like, it's procedurally generated, so you have a lot of room you can go. Theoretically, but no. If the game dev like enforces a limit, I think you. I think you just circle back to the road. I think, you think just, it's, like, it's like a round planet kind of deal. Yeah, it just I think it round planets you back to the road. To be honest, um, cats are always liquid, though they are. Cats are fluids. This is true. Um, but yeah, no. I was just I was just sitting here and like thinking that like clearly that's why the road's been built so shittily and everything and like why why everything looks so weird and mm -hmm. there's just random vehicles and limbs it's because, yeah is because it's like they're these weird aliens are like oh no what are these things we have to give them toys to play with and have just given us a, like a car uh and like a road but they don't understand that like you know, there's supposed to be other roads as well, not just one big long road. Caroline makes a good point. Like, the, maybe the UFO is just like a jerk neighbor has a really nice car and has to flaunt it to you and EMP you to really just, you know, be that kind of asshole, you know? But the UFOs only ever go one direction. Maybe they loop around the same planet and they just come around to the same road just to give you the finger, metaphorically speaking, as they pass you. Maybe. I've seen I've been in rough traffic before like there's just people that are very angry and I would not put it past it if there was people there that had UFOs with EMP capabilities they would use them on random strangers maybe well maybe this is like just you know uh, the space version of uh, road rage I mean, maybe, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like road rage doesn't really work when we're the only car on the road. Unless you consider the UFO car esque, you know, like uh, it's another vehicle on the road, right? True, but they show up. Sometimes we play and they like never show up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. They may not be super common, but they still, like, the nature of the situation may still hold up. Road Rage is kind of a stretch, though, in the sense that there's only, you know, at most two moving vehicles at a time. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, like, the Road Rage doesn't really make sense. 
Unless that guy's that much of an asshole. I mean, I also kind of feel that, like, it wouldn't be going by so quickly if it was a road rage thing, you know? It would, like, it would be it would be there to stay to piss us off for a while. That's mm. not... Fair. Fair, 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 fair. That UFO has places to be, and we're just, like, in its way. It just wants to EMP everybody just to make sure nobody gets it in its way. Mm-hmm. That's why... One day we'll have to take it down. Actually, no, I don't have the patience to, to wait for a UFO and to actually take it down. You have to build a buster sword and all that too. Yeah, I'd have to build a buster sword and I don't have the patience for that. I'd rather just go to mom's house. We're getting pretty close. Uh, everything's fine. Okay, I've got it under. I've got it under control. You're doing it. I've got it slightly less under control. You got it. I do like, from my perspective, since like the train's out of sync, the truck just sort of like hops between hilltops and just sort of glides to the next one as we go downhill. Mm -hmm. It's just very graceful, like a gazelle, but truck form. Uh, are you able to check and see what the oil looks like? Sure. Real quick. We're at 8.4 liters out of 10. Okay. Tight, thank you. You're welcome. I was debating on if I wanted to check and see about... Like, that's still okay. So I might do a quick search at this place that's coming up for oil. And if mm -hmm. I don't find any, it's not a big deal. We like we mm -hmm. still have a ton of oil in the back to fill up with if we need to. Yeah, we have like what three jerry cans worth. Yeah, pretty much. Uh oh, okay, Atulian. I will do squats in a second. I'll check for oil. Okay, I'll do squats then. Okay. There I go. Uh, That's gas. Okay. Point three liters left over. We don't need that. There we go. So you did your squats, right? I need to do just one more. Also, you have a thing to look at. I have a thing to look at? You have a thing to look at on your channel. Five. I'm gonna get my other chair. Sorry, I had to change chairs. What do I uh, need to do? And I can mark your uh, redeems is done if that's okay. I can take care of that. Here I go. Oh, we're starting off great. We're starting off great. We're starting. Oh, there's the ground. Yeah. Right. Yes, everything's fine. Okay. 
I just need to, I just need to find the road. And the, the road's very slippery. I'm pretty sure they, they oil the road. So. I have a hard time staying on it sometimes. Yes, how are your kitties, Athelian? Yeah. Last I heard, they were being naughty little monsters, so. They were two little naughty boys who ripped your curtains off the wall, so. Mm hmm. Okay, we're going up a hill again. Oh, good. I get to go subterranean some more. Yay! <laughs> to the Earth's crust, or this planet's <laughs> crust. It's uh, I'm sorry. You're good. They're wondering what smells so good. Oh, yeah, you said you were making crispy fish fillets and potato wedges. That sounds excellent. We had factor meal today, but we had ramen yesterday. Oh, yeah, that ramen was... It's pretty decent. Like yours looked really good. Mine was okay. Cause that's tight. Mhm. Mm yeah, you wouldn't have liked mine because it was spicy, but. I need to make it again with the uh, chicken one that you that you have. No, oh, yeah, the the super meals. Those mm -hmm. those would go really well, I think. Put some chiz on that shit. So I did it <clears throat> instead of it being like ramen soup. I did. Um, I boiled up the noodles and then put in just enough water to mix the uh, packet. <clears throat> and mix that with the noodles. And then put cheese for dice. I did Munster and Pepper Jack. For myself, I just did white American because mm -hmm. um, it melts the best. And then topped it with two fried eggs. It was so good. So. I really, I really enjoyed that. I want to do again where I where I do uh, the ramyeon mixed with the uh, jajangmyeon. I don't yeah, think we're getting up this hill the normal way. You gonna do like the switch back, like back and forth kind of thing? Yeah, I'm gonna try. <clears throat> okay. We're going to go on an adventure. Hey, you snow. Really snow. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do it that way. <clears throat> For the switch back so we can get up this hill but yeah i think even you would like that like mix it with your with the chicken ramen i think you mm -hmm. would like that well i still have like the spicy chili sauce we can use too like that's not bad uh i would essentially make chapakuri but it's not quite i have um I do have this gin um, ramyeon, but I don't have the brand um, for the jajangmyeon. Jajangmyeon. It's so hard for me to pronounce. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I love mixing them together and with fried egg. Oh, so good. But I've actually made um, jajangmyeon and it's so freaking good to like make it yourself um the yeah. problem is that it's made with cabbage and dice can't really eat cabbage so i'm still trying to work out oh the bulldog chicken ones oh the bulldog chicken ones sound so good i'm not super good with spice so i would have to work on that one but like adding cheese yeah the spicy cheese chicken ones are the bulldog chicken they're so good that sounds good We'll have to... I'll have to look them up for you. Hmm. I think they sell them at our grocery store as well. Yeah. We'll have to check it out. Gives them the toot toots. 
I don't know. I think it's just it. Like your your intestines don't like it, yeah. But it's it's a two tooth. It's pain and suffering. Yeah, it's how to explain this without being too graphic. Um, the roughage in my gut doesn't digest super well sometimes, depending on what it is. Like cabbage being part of it, spinach is another one. Um, sometimes broccoli. And so I get a lot of gas, it swells up, and then uh, more bad things happen in there. And it's just not a pleasant experience for... Honestly, I don't find cabbage that all that tasty most of the time. So it's just not worth the payoff. Like, I don't yeah. mind suffering for food sometimes when it's really good food. Cabbage, I don't... For me, subjectively, don't find cabbage that super collectible. Just got back from the Japanese market. Almost all of the instant stuff now is just Korean or Chinese. Cannot find any of my usual brands. Probably huh. because of the pandemic. Yeah, Japan's been super serial on like the lockdowns and like immigration and import export screenings. Like the, they've been uh, super above board on that. Um, yeah. I, I need to find a good <clears throat> um, Asian market around here. Mm -hmm. We need to go. Yes. I need my QP nope. mayo. Okay, we'll get some. Uh, bell peppers, though. I also, I love bell peppers. Um, raw is kind of tough, but when they're cooked or grilled, they're great. Like, uh, 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 what's the Southwestern style? Like, bell peppers. Fajita. Fajita style, yeah. like, kind of things. It was great. You get QP from Amazon? Ooh, I might do that. There's other stuff I want as well. Mm -hmm. My usual place got a lot of the... Ugh. Okonomiyaki! Oh, I want Okonomiyaki! But it's also <laughs> cabbage, so I can't have it. You can have it, I can't. Yeah, but what's the point of making something for me if you can't have it too? I eat something else, it's fine. Um... At home from school all winter, I get gassy. Yeah. There's certain foods just don't go well for me. Like some of the darker green vegetables too, like they can mess with my kidney sometimes. And so I, that's why I avoid spinach and too much zucchini sometimes or that kind of stuff. Ah, I've been ah. long passes through the fourth dimension via question relationship with the ground. Will do. Have a good rest, Satasha. Thank you for stopping in. I hope you have a good rest. Appreciate you. You're allowed to eat something he can't. I just feel bad. Don't. Meet Mitsuwa Marketplace in Edgewater, New Jersey. Ooh, I will have to look this place up. Also, when you were in Osaka, you had okonomiyaki like every day. Oh, I'm jelly. <laughs> Osaka looks like a really fun city to visit. Yeah, I definitely. I've never had okonomiyaki. I've always wanted to try it, but like it's very hard to find a place, <laughs> especially when you live, you know, in the Midwest, in the middle of the country, <coughs> <coughs> to find a place hold that'll actually do okonomiyaki. So, um, I finally went back to my local Asian market, got totally overwhelmed, but it was still fun. Yeah, I know how that feels. Osaka and Tokyo are both lots of fun. Uh, yeah. One place I sincerely want to go, uh, if I were to make our way over to Japan, would be to visit Sendai. Cause like that, that city looks like it's a lot of fun, but it's not super like megalopolis like Tokyo is. Um, so it still has like a more human size, I guess, um, city to it. Like, uh, it's not just super sprawling concrete. There's still some like small town mm -hmm. vibes on the edges there that are not too far out. But you still have like the bullet train station there. You still have like plenty of cool things there. Um, mm -hmm. Plus it's pretty far north, so it's nice and cool. And I'm, I, I run hot, so uh, hey. cool climate. What? Me. Whereas not as far north as like Hokkaido. Okay, I guess it's. It's like Sendai's really yeah. like on the, on the snow border. Cause like, I think like, Roughly half Japan gets like a massive amount of snow every winter and the other half gets much less and it's very mm -hmm. distinct and sometimes like right on that border. So 
but we shall see. I mean, this is all theoretical when things are less chaotic in the world, which mm -hmm. who knows? You'll just go with more of a plan. Yeah, that's a good idea. Is it Tyrolee? Or is it Tyrolee? Hmm. As somebody with a hard to pronounce name, definitely feel free to let me know how it's pronounced. I don't want to get it incorrect. I mean, for a straight, like, I don't know, three streams, I called a Thulean, a, a, a Luthian, so. But that was the dyslexia. Dyslexia, speech impediments can make names hard. Yep. First time I went to Japan, I spent a week in Osaka. Second time was a week in Tokyo and a week in Utsunomiya. I'm not familiar with that place, but I'm sure it's lovely. Oh yeah, I'd uh, love to go. Yeah. I'd love to go to Korea as well. South Korea. Hmm. North Korea is a bit of a different kind of vacation. Yeah, I know. I, 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 <laughs> want to go to South, I, I definitely want to visit South Korea though. Mm hmm. I s above all else, I want to go to Abrihabara and Okinawa. Yeah. Like Okinawa lo looks like s there's like, yeah, there's the deers and like, it's like a nice subtropical, like warm area. And it's like, ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Utsunomiya is a smaller city, still pretty big, like 1 million people. That's big. It's a lot of, that's a lot of people. Hawaii, like, yeah, Okinawa is very uh, com comparable to Hawaii in terms of climate. Um, I know there's like mixed opinions on like having the U.S. base there, but I think just the presence of there might make things a little bit easier in terms of like getting around because I would assume more of the local populace is more accommodating towards like such a large English speaking population there. But that's an assumption. I don't know for a fact. Well, non-Japanese speaking is a lot easier to visit. Exactly. Like the, well, I was, we were talking about this the other night, but like one of my hangups about visiting Japan historically, has always been like the language barrier for me. Cause like, I just don't pick up human languages that well as I, I, I struggle with it and I, would prefer not to go to Japan and put a uh, uh, put upon like the local populace my lack of ability to communicate, um, and just make everyone's life that much harder. Uh, so I'd rather be not fluent, but at least conversationally okay, where I can get by. Um, I used to be that way with Spanish, but I lost it over the years. Uh, I'd like to regain it, um, but if I were to visit Japan or any other non-English speaking nation, uh, I would prefer to visit if I can speak the local tongue to some degree. I mean, I tried to suggest that, Mari. We could just go to Japan with Mari and Mari would be able to translate for us. That's fair. Like, that could be fun. People because like Japan. if you if you want to get like conversationally fluent in Japanese, it's like you need to start today <laughs> because it's gonna take years. So. Yeah, I know. And I, like that prospect also is sort of like a. a sort so of a disincentive like, as itself, you know. Yeah, I'm just saying that, like, I would actually love to go to Japan and I wouldn't want to, like, go without you and be like, I'm having fun without you guys in Japan. <laughs> uh, you know, so, but if, if, oh, these ones never have anything in them. Um, if not being even conversationally fluent is a hindrance, then you, Starting to learn sooner rather than later <laughs> is better. I know it, it's a combination of things. Like I never had the concerted time to where I could dedicate to actually learning it and knowing that it's such a long goal has been a disincentive for me. Cause like, if I don't get 
tangible progress. Like my brain doesn't work well with that as I go along. Um, I tried Duolingo and failed miserably. Uh, there's little games that you can, I think there's yeah. some on Steam that you could buy. I have them. I, I think I have them downloaded, um, but it's on a long list of things I'd like to do with my time that I just never have enough of. Van Visual Translate Signs on the Fly versus 7 S. Hello, Gordon. Duolingo isn't for everyone. Yeah, I was learning it for Korean and was doing okay, but Korean I find is an easier language to learn than Japanese. I'm just really bad with kanji. Like the, the hiragana, the katakana. Like I just... Mm -hmm. That's why I found Korean to be an easier language to translate from the written language into English. Because they only Hansel. have one alphabet. Hangul is one alphabet instead of. Yeah, and like a lot, well, you know. Hangul is like designed to be easy to be learned too, right? Yes. Well, like, like the kanji was mostly imported from China, mm -hmm. and hiragana, katakana have sort of evolved over time natively. Um, so like the yeah. three alphabets mixed together, uh, well, not mixed, but prevalent. Um, would be a challenge for me i know yeah so that's why i was saying like i was trying to learn japanese off duolingo and it really isn't good for japanese because there's just so much to the language the language the written language is so complex that it's hard to learn um the the written language I wish there was like a like a variant of the course on Duolingo or any language program where it focused more on the Romanji so you can do like the verbal part of the language for a while and like be if comfortable with the vocabulary and the grammar um, of just the words in general mm -hmm. uh, and then like have an, a, like a, a more focused path on the written language as well but not intertwine them so much to where if you struggle with the written you lose out on the vocal. Mm -hmm. Even I though mean, I'm, I'm, you sure I'm sure you do need the the written language to get by if you're there, but you know what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. like uh, that's where I I would think would benefit in starting from that perspective. Mm -hmm. Which I'm I'm sure that would be something that Mari would be happy to help you with. She did offer because then when I get back into taking the actual language courses, I can share my Japanese textbook textbooks and assignments with you. And I'm sure if you, if she would love to have somebody to practice with, if you wanted to start trying to learn just like Japanese phrases and stuff like that. Yeah, like all I know is like a handful of things I've brute force memorized from anime, which is not a good source. Full disclosure, but it's, it's all I have. Hello, Gordon. Wait, are more people now telling you to visit Japan? Because I agree. Yes, more people are trying to convince me to visit Japan. Um, so it's probably not gonna be anytime soon given the world climate um so but the factor that in too oh, i'd appreciate that mari because like pronunciation and enunciation even in english is terrible for me so since japanese is also more nuanced with that practicing that would be a huge benefit funny enough like streaming one of the reasons i wanted to stream was to practice my speech because i grew up with speech impediment and dyslexia of some degree so i wanted to throw myself into more situations to practice it and get better with it um so i, I can form sentences more coherently and more succinctly convey ideas or have a conversation Person else in the kids kind of kind of yeah that makes sense I, I don't know. okay yeah so I'm not opposed to visiting Japan I just would have to find the time to practice and, and learn the language and having a you know someone who's further along in the education part of it to tutor me would be great um so I may take you up on that at some point Mario it just won't be anytime necessarily soon Oh cool, my 
uh, Tuesday and Wednesday I have scheduled for work from home, so that's nice. I don't have to get in. I don't have to go in the office tomorrow. Tight. Yeah. Well, it's like your pants are all clean, but it's just the whites in the uh, in the dryer right now. Agree to disagree. Focus on one thing at a, as a time at at a time as not to confuse them. I take both the simplified written at the same time, not that hard. I think it. <coughs> I think it definitely uh, depends on the person whether you'd be able to do both at the same time or not. Mm -hmm. Especially also if you're talking, if you're talking like whether you're a child or whether you're an adult learning. Because like obviously, a children could potentially pick up that stuff a, a easier. Um, but like my my adult ADHD ass is, would have to learn, you know, like. Hiragana first, then katakana, then kanji. And kanji in itself, like, that is a career in itself. Like, there are thousands upon thousands of kanji characters and most of Japan don't even know all of them. Like, that's a, it's, it's its own, like, degree program to learn the majority of them and become a scholar in that. So, mm -hmm. learning enough to become, uh, to get by in day-to-day -day society is usually like the bar most schools go towards, I think. Knowing kanji isn't necessarily important for visiting Japan. Most signs and stuff with kanji will still have the hiragana breakdown. Yeah. Most know a little over 1,000 kanji, and that's about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, But there's like several thousand in existence. That is like its own scholarly pursuit in academia over there. What compounds things is in all the kana and even kanji. It changes from decade to decade. That too. They're, like Their language, much like English, Excuse your truck. Uh, their language, much as English, evolves. Um, yeah. Uh, over time, so definitely. Yeah. Zazi zu zezo are are mostly non-existent now for tade do de do. Hmm. That's the wrong button. Oh, Z, Z zooms you in. I never. Yeah, I, Z I zooms never... you in. I've always pressed right click. Uh, I was trying to go to sleep, <laughs> and I there's pressed like, Z instead. There's like four key binds for zoom for some reason. It's very important you zoom. Too bad you can't double zoom. No, you can't. One layer of zoom. One layer of zoom only. Yeah. Disappointed. I wanted to be able to double zoom. Z for snores. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's V right now, Atulian. Like V Let's... for bleeping, <laughs> like. V for very fucking tired. Yeah. Japanese is actually super easy to learn because there are only about 200 sounds in the spoken language, whereas English is well over 2,000. Yeah. My problem is definitely sentence structure and uh, pronunciation. Well, one thing I do like about the little sliver of Japanese I do know is like I like how some of the grammars define into the vocabulary to some degree where like uh, sentence structure or like tense is built in as uh, suffixes to the overall phrase. While in English it's more like an inflection and more tonal, mm -hmm. um, that's just like in terms of like designing concept, I, I adore. I ah buttholes. My game's being a butt. Nah. Uh, if you I learn do... hiragana, you pretty much got all the syllables down. I used to know hiragana. I used to know all of them. And then I, I knew like them. four, and I forgot them as well. Yeah. Well, ass and titties. Ass and titties. What kind of road trip and are we on? The kind where I'm stuck underneath the seat. Hi, hi down there. Uh, hi. Do you need assistance? Uh, I'm trying. 
normally, normally I can eventually get out of here. I just have okay. to like. I just have to. I just have to. <laughs> I did it. On oh, chat, this is the reason why it's usually sticking third person view is because who wants to look at this at full screen? Don't know if I would ever manage to grasp Korean Witten. Huckle is super easy. Also, I think I need to reload. Okay. Can I let interact me, with anything? Let me disconnect myself. Let me know when you have the rob, be ready. Okay, I gotta save. A versus... A is... A, A is A versus English has something like five sounds for A. Yeah. Ah. Uh, did I save? 2293. Almost I halfway. Love that one. I love cringing and Americans pronouncing... Japanese words in American. That's me, though. All the stuff I pronounce is, is terrible. Yeah. I, I even in, like when I was speaking some forms of Spanish. Well, not Spanish, Castilian Spanish. Uh, it was heavily wrong uh, accent. Where's the road? There's the car. But in okay. fairness, my Spanish teacher was originally French, so she could not convey the right enunciation either. So I really didn't have a good teacher until I was immersed. Okay, three, two, one, open. Korea, Korea. Korea. Your Spanish um, teacher my... was Irish? Oof. Uh, um, goodbye. Oh, you're going through the world. This is bullshit. Yeah. Ready to try again when you are. Okay, let me move to... Especially when they watch an episode where that word is said like 20 times an episode. Okay. And open. Okay, Claptrap. How dare you? <laughs> Goodbye. God damn it, Bobby. That's my purse. Doggo. Are you the doggo, Zybrick? Enemy definitely taught me the bare minimum of the Japanese pronunciation. Yeah. I like a okay. reduced set of that. Let's try it again. Okay. Open! You good now? I think so. Listening to Japanese music helps. I tend to listen to... Not Japanese. I tend to listen to Korean. Uh, so that truck tanker has a whole bunch of diesel in it, but we really don't have any diesel right now. Okay. It has 155, but I don't think it's worth even trying to get. No, we tried last time and it was a fun adventure. Uh, yeah, fun, ha ha ha, fun. Not fun, not fun at all. Ah, uh, everybody fell down. I just want, sometimes I just wish I could put them in a box and carry them around that way so they would stop falling down. You can put them in a basket, you know could put them in a basket. I'm seriously tempted to put them in a basket. Is there a basket? Do we have a spare basket or is there a spare basket to grab? Oh, we have one spare basket. Now, Gordon, it's very important to note if you enter this room with uh, a piece also, of bread. I need to take the second. Fence well, systems will activate. Thanks to Dr. Coomer, Cyric. Love Dr. Coomer. What? Yeah. That was a toilet seat falling down, in case you heard that. Sorry, I had to use the restroom.
Yeah, I'm adding quick fish. Like this is this is the adventure that is long drive client side. It's just, it's insanity in the control room. But it's it is what it is. It's just madness. It's sort of not that stable either. The game in general is not that stable, so you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Okay, sorry. No problem. I had to pee. Yeah. And sometimes my hands don't work good, and that's why I dropped the toilet seat. Yep, I explained that to the chat. I know, but I mean, it wasn't like I did it on purpose. Okay, I'm gonna go set this trust, this tanker free. Goodbye, live your but. Mm. Live your best life. Yeah, it's uh, oh, oh, hmm. It died. Don't look at it. Okay. Don't look at it. Okay. I'm not. Best 10 seconds of life. We can just leave it, honey. Go. Go. You must be free! Why do you refuse to be free? Why do you refuse? Maybe it just wants to take a nap here, trying to wake it up <laughs> why, in the middle of the why afternoon. Why do you wish to die? Why are you like an elephant that just lays down and waits to die? More chaos! Go be free. Is it because is it because you're full? Is it because you're full of diesel? Okay. Okay. I won't give up. Go, be free, frolic amongst the countryside. Oh dear. You alright? I mean, that's technically frolic. Oh, 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 oh. I would start again. Pizza last night, then schnitzel chili fries for lunch today are not sitting well. Ooh, yeah, that's a that's a heartburn sandwich. I never heard one. Definitely supposed to have another basket here. It might be mad koi fish, but I don't think lemon dip usually causes that much upset stomach kind of problems, but what do I know? Okay. Now stomach behave. <sighs> Athelian, if there is a way you know of to make a organ, an internal organ behave to one's will, do let me know. Time was long drawn, but now it's KFC now. KFC is a little milder, so that might be better for your stomach. Comparatively. Everyone needs to get in a cuddle pile here. Oh, I might be thinking of Popeyes. Long drawn, I don't think it's about the same as KFC in that regard. Have you done any hydrates? No, not yet. I'm a tiny bit busy. Making sure everybody. Okay, so I've got... Up, oh, I got that. Eva Flowers and a Tulian. Oh, thank you. And... So Eva Flowers and a Tulian and Pants and Tom. I still need mm. Mira. And Patricia. Ah! So, okay, I'm gonna go set this trust... This tanker free. Goodbye, live your... But mm. Live your best life. Live your best life. Yeah, it's uh, oh, oh, hmm. It died. Don't look at it. Don't look okay. At it. Don't look. Don't look at it. Okay. To get it. okay. There's Mira. I'm trying to find. Patricia. Thank you, Mari. Thank you for that clip. Yep. It's a good clip. It's a very good clip. Oh no. Um, and coincidentally, it's. I want to get in the basket. 
it's also a good example of like some of the automation set up if a vip or a mod posts a clip also i think regulars do but at least those uh the bot will play it and then send the link over to discord for long-term storage so uh yeah well, they'll send his over to long-term storage oh uh, yeah that's all operating on my channel like you don't have as much automation set up on yours yet no because only one person can really be attached to your discord so you're in there as much as i am yeah but i'm saying that like it doesn't it doesn't add like pick up my subscribers or anything it, it goes off yours well it does pick it up we haven't done anything with it oh i didn't even know it picked mine up yep okay and then we got we got in here eh. oh that's not eh. Sorry, you have the same Twitch integration that I do, and that's why all your emotes get synced mm -hmm. over. Okay. That should be everybody. And then I'm gonna F and sit down and pick it up. And now everybody's just gonna be in a big, good cuddle pot. Oh, not right there. No. No, go back in. Go back. No, oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, I've I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah, you did. I want to attach it not to my chair. I want to attach it right there. <gasps> I did it. I think I need Alt F for my game. Yeah, you disconnected from me. Be right back, chat. Sorry about this. I'd be too lazy for that. The idea of some crappy fried Pollock and salt with soggy fries. I was like, fuck the KFC and turn to the wiener joint. I want a car this color to just be a massive eyesore. It's the Saints Row color. It's a Saints Row purple. Yeah. Um, we might have lost our... Uh, not make the car not stinky tree. The air freshener? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm ready, ready for the lobby whenever you are, yes. Okay. Go. Please don't fall through the world. It might show up at some point if we crash. But I oh, accidentally... Goodbye. Oof, I'm back. All right, I'm on this fucking Bronco. Let's roll. And then I'm gonna F and sit down and pick it up. And now everybody's just gonna be in a big, good cuddle pot. Oh, not right there. No, no, go back in, go back, no, <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, I've, I've fucked up, I fucked up. <laughs> That's good. I fucked up. Thank you, Mari. I, have, I don't have to worry about everybody fucking falling out of the car now. Yes, that's a lot better. I can at least keep everybody in the car. I want to have everybody hanging up, but it's just, it's so much time taken to like every single time you get out of the car mm -hmm. to have to re put everybody back up. So if all we have to do is re put up your octopus dude, fucking fine. Yeah. Just do it that way. I'm fine with that. And everybody's in the basket in the car. And we've got, we still got Becky and Sylvia on top. Mm hmm. So. Thank you for all the clips, Mari. Yes, thank you. Also, definitely feel free, y'all, if there's something that happens in my channel or in Dice's channel and you want to clip it, please feel free. I will not feel offended as long as you, you know, if you clip them. 
The only thing I would ask is put a title on it. it helps us when we scroll through and trying to find them. Yep. This is clip gold. This game doesn't always make sense when you're trying to place stuff down, so. Understatement. It didn't dump everything uh, on the floor on the reboot. For some reason, it has to do when dice logs out a lot of the times. Um, I've literally been like sitting in the car when his frame rate has gotten down to like four frames a second. And he's like, I need to relog. And the second he leaves the game, uh, it like it just dumped everything on the floor. And I, this is, it's happened too many times. I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. It was a common thing on restart for single player. It does it less for me on single player. I can save out of the game. Um, <coughs> quit and restart and still have everything up. Drop the engine first. I need to do some hydrates. There are five hydrates done. Ah! You got five done? You said? Yeah, I got five. I got five done. Got it. At this point, I feel like. There's so many people, there's like, there's so many hydrate redeems that I just do five at a time. Just, cause I can't keep track of how many there are anymore. You always put a cooldown on it, you know? I know, but it's fun. And it makes me drink water and it makes me drink a lot of water. Fair enough. Water is part of the rent, so I also use the toilet a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's just, I don't drink a lot of water. I prefer drinking soda over drinking water. Soda. So. Soda. Uh, Hold on. But drinking soda is less good for you than water. So I try drinking. So I need to drink more water. And if I stream and people do a bunch of hydrates, it means I'm drinking a lot of water. And if we stream for like five or six hours, well, that's five or six hours that I'm drinking a lot of water. So liquids, liquids helping me out here. Yep. Liquid understands your thirst. I'm thirsty. Actually, I am. I think I'm like permanently dehydrated, to be honest. Hmm. I my my hypochondria was of like for a while was like. You have diabetes. You're, diabetes. You're, yeah, because because like I'm constantly thirsty, like all the time. Even if I drink a whole bunch of water, I still feel really thirsty. So my brain was like, "You have diabetes. That's one of the you know that's one of the, that's one of the signs. It's one of the signs, you know." It's like, okay, okay. At least you're not telling me I have cancer this time. My brain is just WebMD, where you put in all the stuff and it tells you you have cancer. So. <clears throat> But it's not. My my blood sugar levels are fine. <laughs> I just don't drink enough water. <laughs> yeah. But well, it's not an uncommon thing for a lot of people because it's easy to forget. You don't really perceive the lack of water, like the thirst on low levels immediately. Mm -hmm. And by the time you're really thirsty, it's usually beyond that level. Yeah. Don't really notice type two short of a blood test. Yeah, my blood tests are fine. <coughs> I essentially went into my doctor at one point and was like, can I just have a test? Can you just take my blood and do like a whole bunch of tests at once? And she was like, uh, you might have to pay for them, but sure. Just do not go over. I think it was 1.5 to 2 gallons of water a day. Yeah, but... 
reason I the reason I'm saying that I'm probably dehydrated is it's a struggle to get I think the Yeti's what? This one that we have is like what, twenty four ounces? I think it's like a liter, yeah. I struggle to get even one of these Yetis drink a day. Like I can I can be drinking on this for several days. So I uh I don't have it should be a regular test on a six month to one year checkup. <laughs> Quiffish. <Quifish. laughs> I don't really go to a doctor. <laughs> that needs insurance. <laughs> and I don't have that. So you do have some basic metal medical support, but it's not super exhaustive right now. Well, okay, I have health insurance now, but I can't use it where I'm living. So, yeah. um, yeah, it was just I, I, I don't. <clears throat> I haven't been to see the dentist in over a decade. So it's just, I haven't seen the eye doctor in forever. Uh, I just, I typically when I was going to the doctor, I was going to like the urgent care when I still had work health insurance. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I was trying to see um, a doctor for uh, getting diagnosed for ADHD. <clears throat> and they literally canceled on me. Oh, it, well, rescheduled, I think, twice, maybe three times uh -huh. before, like, I was actually able to see the dude. So it was like three months passed before I was even able to see the guy. And these are virtual meetings, right? Yeah. Well, I was supposed to do like two in-person meetings and then they were going to cancel the third one and change it to a virtual one instead. And so now I've just been doing virtual with him anyways. <clears throat> but... Cancel on you nonstop, then if you miss it, they charge you. Yeah. It was... It was super frustrating. So. Yeah. Think of a store tree to customers like doctors do. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I know. Oh, it looks like stream stickers isn't being naughty today. It's only doing one message today. That's good. Don't don't tease it. It'll it'll, it'll bite back. Not oh, true. I need to turn. I need to make it so that stream stickers doesn't show up on my bubble chat. I yeah, you have to exclude it. that as a user. <laughs> yeah, I mean you could you could potentially do that for me real quick, right? Yeah, doggo. Thank you. If you could do that, please. I can work on it. Yes. Gonna take me a hot minute because I have to switch to your stream elements. Yeah, no problem. There's one that's just listed as like the regular chat name, and then there's one that's hand cam. Chat should be. I just went ahead and made two different chats. But yeah, no, I I 100% agree, Quayfish, that if like. If it was more like like uh, like a store. Hello, Gordon. Things would be a lot different, but it's not. Eugene, so. So, oh my God, somebody plays Long Drive. Yeah, we're playing Long Drive Multiplayer Branch, which is the alpha channel of it, and it's beautifully jank. I'm not able to because it keeps. It keeps saying that it has. I need special permission from Twitch. Oh, weird. 
Sorry. It just needs to re It's fine. I can take like a super quick break and fix it. It's not super urgent either. No, it's not. It's just it's been annoying me for a couple of days, and by the time stream has ended, I've literally always forgotten. Which I guess you could do a remind me in your chat to you know, remind me to do that. Yeah. Ah, that's all caps. Because, yeah, I've like just it? been sitting here and being like, hey, that's really annoying that it shows up in my chat because I don't want that to show up in my chat. Oh, we got stuck in the road there for a second, I think. But we're doing it. We're getting up this hill, I think. It Thank is laggy like as fuck. Um, and it's not our network connection. We're on a land connection. This is just uh, long drive, being a long drive. Yep. I want to see if we can make it up this hill the normal way. Are you trying to warp into a parallel dimension? It looks yes. like it, doesn't it? Um, Sari is wants to see the fifth dimension, and we're doing our damnedest to get there. Um, I thought the fifth dimension was like love or something. We have to go no, and find out. that's the fifth out. element. Yeah. Multipass? I've never seen that movie. Multipass? What's the... Is that... Mila... Does it who does, who's in that movie? Mm-hmm. Okay. She's the female lead. Okay, because I was I was like early, I think yesterday I was like that is the that is the color my hair is turning is like that orange, right? Yeah, you're going straight to the seventh dimension. Yeah, like we first have to stop by the fifth. We'll make our way to the seventh because we gotta get slurp, you know ices, right? Hmm. I've never had one of those. Are they good? They're okay. I mean, I know it's they're like just a slush. It's like a slushy. It's like a snow cone drink kind of thing. I love snow cones. I have thought many times because you can just buy snow cone syrup on Amazon. Mm hmm. Also, apparently, that is the secret to the recipe for like Sonic's ice water. Yeah. Is it's it's a uh, coconut snow cone syrup in like sprite and blue food coloring that's one of their drinks but yeah all of them are mixes of like various like uh snow cone syrups i didn't know that i always thought it was something special because i love the ocean water um like the only reason i ever go to sonic is to get the ocean water drink mm. so I didn't realize, and then I looked it. I looked it up, and it was just like, yeah, it's just coconut snow cone syrup. And I was like, the fuck? You mean I could just make one myself? Yep. Can buy it too at a lot of stores now. Any syrup will do. Ooh. Get a cheap ice shaver off Amazon or Asian market. Went to Sonic once and never went back. See, I like Sonic's is like hot dogs and tater tots. So the my hometown is one of the test markets for Sonic. Yeah, you get to try all the new stuff. So any store design that comes, like a store redesign, they uh, oh, my town, my hometown is one of them. Um, and yeah, any new menu items, my hometown is one of them. So there are like Sonics everywhere in my hometown. It's like, it's, there's like three, three, well, there's like four things in my hometown that are practically on every single corner. It's Sonics, gas stations, churches, and American flags. So, like, I, I've grown up so much with just being like, you want something quick and easy? Like, when you're hanging out, you know, in your 
two, you know, 13 year olds hanging out, go to, like, walk to the nearest Sonic. Because you don't have to walk very far. <laughs> and, and have the Sonic, so. It's just like, it's not even that, it's like, that I super like Sonic. But it is definitely that it was just, it was very easy fast food to get. It was very convenient, right? Yeah, it was very convenient because there's so fucking many of them. Mm -hmm. And like, and this was obviously more when I was younger and like before I had a car. Because now it's like I can, I can drive to go get whatever the fuck I want. So... Like in and out fries are okay, burgers are eh, so, so good for the price, but not worth dealing with the crappy location and crowds. See, I've only had in and out like twice in my life. I, I like grew it. up with I grew up with it now. I love it. Um, crappy locations, I think, are very hidden, like situational. Like some parts, yeah, are rough and there's long lines. But there are, there's others that are much better. And... It also helps if you pick the right times of day to go. Like, if you try to go, like, for lunch or the dinner rushes, no, fam, you're not going to have any luck. But if you go for, like, 9 p.m., like a late-night snack, or 2 p.m. in the afternoon, it's... you get much better, like, line, like, problems, like, taken care of. And I love their burgers, I love their fries, I love their secret menu, and I love their shakes. Like, I... And now it's one of the things I miss from growing up on that side of the country now lines all day long i don't know i went to one in california and i think there's one in dallas and i went to the one in dallas and that those are the only two times i've ever had in and out in my life most are in areas where you often have shootings in and outs again i think that's still situational like i've been to plenty where there really wasn't that kind of problem it was also a while ago so the gun threat was less pervasive comparatively. Well, to be fair about Quick Fish, like all of California is a bad traffic flow. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but like animal style fries are delicious. Um, and again, like a 4x4 four four is like a perfect burger for me. I also have an insane uh, metabolism, so yeah. I just wish Almost. I could have PDQ. PDQ? PDQ. It was a chicken well, place. Makes the best uh, chicken sandwich you will ever fucking have. Do you have Slavic, specifically Ukrainian food in the USA? Uh, I am sure there's look like little holes in the wall around the various part of the country because like plenty of the major cities like New York, Los Angeles uh, have like very culture rich spots of like uh, contextual neighborhoods and I am certain there's spots throughout the country that have Ukrainian like neighborhoods and restaurants. When it comes to it, the hassle of going to one does not offset what you get. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's it's different. It, it's different strokes for different folks. I think is definitely one of the things. Is like, I will never eat at a Burger King or even really a McDonald's. They're just not Probably. my. They're not my type of food. So. I think I've had gen I generally Slavic food or like Polish food a few times. It's great. Um, no complaints. Uh. It's not, uh, I keep taking my fucking glasses off. It's not as easily accessible as like things like Italian food um, in a lot of the areas I've lived in. Um, Would you rather go to Wiener Works? Never heard of Wiener Works. Hmm. But what makes um Ukrainian food like more specifically? Uh, what 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 kind of dish would you recommend, or what would you highlight out of the cuisine that would be worth experiencing? Ah, this fucking car! Get out of my way! There's like nothing in this place. <clears throat> 
<gasps> I found one. What? I found a bat friend. <clears throat> that one is K. Now we just need to find one for Opalish. <gasps> I found one for Opalish. <clears throat> Yay. Opalish will be super happy once they hear that. I found K and Opalish. We're back in Iceland, aren't we? Yep. <clears throat> oh. Hey. A few places we have have a lot of Ukrainian immigrants in certain areas in uh, SAC. Airplane. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Uh, oh, Sacramento, I'm guessing. Borscht for sure. I've had borscht. Borscht is definitely tasty. Um, sour cream dumplings and pig fat. Yeah, I've had that. It's definitely good. Um, I have to be like in a specific mood for like uh, beet uh, stews and whatnot. Same thing with like tomato soups or tom uh, tomato juice as a drink. I just get into like weird like blue moon cravings for them, and it's really rare. But I I have had it. It's good. Dicks. There is a place for the weight of having to eat out of the car. <clears throat> um. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure Kay and Opalish can join the cuddle party. <clears throat> I'm sure they appreciate that. Um, but like, I know there was a neighborhood I used to hang out a lot in LA um, that was between Little Ethiopia and Koreatown and it had some amazing cuisines on that strip. It was good. Oh, pierogies. Pierogies. We, we actually have pierogies. We need to make those pierogies. We need to get the kielbasa first, and we need to go to shopping True. for that first. Uh, Karina is an Asian food market that has a lot of Ukrainian influence, including a bakery that has a lot of pierogi and other meat dishes. Ooh, that sounds meat, uh, Eat meat jelly that's definitely from Brussels. Is that like jellied eel and whatnot? Because I know that's a British dish that's well known. Um, meat jelly is something I'll probably have to build up to. Um, so I'm very much like a texture person and for foods. Um, so that may take a while. I'm not like, I'm not inherently opposed to it up front. I just have to work up to it. Um, what kind of like, uh, meat do you jelly? Do you do like beef, chicken, pork? Something else. What's like more? What's the traditional Ukrainian jellied meat? Gotta stay on the road. Often pork. Okay. That makes sense. Is it like a particular cut of pork or do you just do like the trimmings from other cuts or like what, I guess more in detail, like what how, what part of the pig goes into the jelly process, I guess is more, more of the question. Do you do like the, uh, the loins or the haunches or more of the midsection or what? like? I'm, I'm actually genuinely very curious about this. I don't know why, but I am. <laughs> this is intriguing. It's like I, I never thought of jellied pork before. My save real fast. Okay. Let me know how much miles you've done. 2311. Nice. Oh, my game is really angry right now. Super angry, I may need to really log. Um, let me know when you get to a, like a commerce span of road so I can do that. Okay. Let me try to get to something that's at least flatter. Mm hmm. I think we're still pig feet, bones, tails, etc. More bone, the better. Oh, aspic. Yes. 
What's that spec? You can relog. Okay. It's meat jelly. Okay. Interesting. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Open. Back to Iceland. UK is something kind of like that. Uh, pork pies where the meat is suspended in jelly of uh, bone and fats. Yeah, I have to imagine like, you know, uh, rendered marrow and uh, more like the fatty cuts would make for a good jelly once it's like cooked down and boiled long enough because you have all the right like chemicals and ingredients in there for like the suspension and whatnot fascinating i'm ready when you are to yep cool yep i was just uh, refilling the tank have you done the hydrates Okay. I, I mean, I did. <clears throat> I think I'd cleared them all out. Did I get more? Uh, you got five more from side break about 40 minutes ago and three more from liquid about 23 minutes ago. I think I might have done the five from side break, but I'll, I'll do them again. Okay. You want to try spam once? Heard it was good. Uh, it's okay. Um, it's very salty. I've had it a few times. It's not super my thing. I like it. One of the few times I have had it is, um, yeah, don't eat it raw. Uh, slice it and pan fry it, and you can put it in sandwiches. It's pretty decent there. It's like a BLT, but worse. Um, also, you did eight? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll clear those out. Um, Oh, yeah. Having a um, musubi? Mm, yeah. <clears throat> That's really... Thought that the point was to eat a raw... No. No, 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 no. no. Don't no. eat a raw. No. Uh, it's also thing... apparently really popular in uh, Korean food. As well as Okinawa. So. Um... But I was going to say, it's also, uh, um, you can also have it really good if you like, uh, slice it, pan fry it, and then dice it up and put it as part of like a ham and cheese omelet. Fits in really well there. Yeah, uh, the normal ones are very salty, so unless you have like a high, like, inclination or taste for salt, it's probably a bit much for you. Um, so I would, like Matt Clayfish is saying, uh, low sodium or no sodium probably wants to be more, uh, you know, might be a better fit for like an initial try of spam. Cause either way you get a better taste than meat. Oh, it's a very fatty meat, Mad Clayfish. Like it, it sticks to everywhere. And that's why you kind of have to cook it to render it down a bit. It's not bad. It's it's like imagine like um like sandwich ham, but very thick and in poor quality. It is like breakwood food. I'm not familiar with that term. Pre-chewed. Pre-chewed. Wow, that's my dyslexia striking like no other. Or just me being dumb, but pre-chew food, yeah. 
like old school hams where it's reformed into odd egg shapes. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, it's sort of like that too. It's like weirdly shaped. Um, but because like if you pan fry it, put some lettuce and tomato on uh, a sandwich, it's not a bad ham sandwich. I'll say that. Um, I don't. I do it with like mayo and ketchup, but I've heard a lot of good things about people that like mustard. I'm not a fan of mustard, but I've heard good things. Oh, no. oh yeah, Where are we it's going? very greasy, very greasy. So um, you can also save that grease and uh, like bottle it or whatever, and you can reuse it as lard for cooking like eggs and stuff or hash browns. It's really good for cooking hash browns. <clears throat> Making like a, 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 a adding bacon to like a, a spam sandwich is also a good option. Yeah, fry eggs in the lard. It's or fry eggs in lard or uh, use it to make uh, pan fried hash browns. Great like ways to like reutilize like the rest of the dish. Um, and it really adds something to hash browns. I, I honestly have to like highly recommend that. I haven't tried mashed or baked potatoes. So that makes perfect sense. It's sort of like kind of like a gravy in that sense. Oh yeah, it's it's very analogous to bacon in that part of the pig, so that all kind of makes sense. Um, one recipe I think I still need to have for you, honey, is like um, getting some like bacon lard and making garlic hash browns. I've been meaning to do that. Mm. I think you'll like it. But like it's a chore to make because like uh, the recipe I know requires fresh shredded potatoes and that's like a lot of effort. Uh, I mean that's why we have the mandolin. Oh yeah. We'll have to figure something out. Mm -hmm. I don't think frozen would be the end of the world. I just I know the recipe I was taught was fresh. Sort of, like in the sense they're both cooked potatoes. Um, Hash browns are shredded potatoes that are cooked in, are, are typically sauteed in a pan. Mm -hmm. So they're more like a patty than like a baked potato. Um, That is one good aspect of Spam. It, the way it cooks, it doesn't get hard, like when you overcook bacon. Bacon is more temperamental, like how long you cook it and what heat. Yeah, blanched shredded potato fried in a pan. Seasoned to your taste, like salt, pepper, and I use garlic powder. Um, I think it adds something to it. Effectively like potato pancakes, but they're not um, strictly shaped. They're more yeah, you know, haphazard. It's, it's, a lot like, it's a lot like potato pancakes, but little bit different now you want to spam wasabi we were just talking about that yeah and that's another Mus way to do it musubi sorry that's where you have it like basically on a sushi roll right mm -hmm. yeah less mashed up less gummy it's more crispy um have you ever had like shoestring fries it's like that but compressed into patty form that's a good uh analogy as well it's, it's much more like crispy and like closer to french fries or kind of thing um but it's a a great part of like a breakfast dish like um i definitely have a fondness for making hash browns and doing like fried eggs or over easy eggs on top of them and let the yolk soak into the hash browns that's a good pairing so good it's not even that expensive too, it's like relatively cheap to make that. <clears throat> hey. 
Oh, this bus actually has its wheels and everything. I think it's in the... Anything worth taking, though? Um, it's got a nice shiny radiator, but I don't. I think our radiators pretty darn honestly good. Honestly, working fine. Oh no. Uh, okay. Sorry, I had to mute, but Mitsubi is a rice buck with a stripe of Terry, and then spin fight on top with Nori wrapped around. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm not allowed in this bus, apparently. Oil tank is empty. I don't see any reader on the bus itself. It's because I stole it. All right. There is a blue paint can for me in the shitter. Hmm. Hey, Sna. Hope you're having a good stram. Stram, stram. I need Jill. Where is Jill? Jill? I'm not sure Leon is with us anymore. Hmm. He might have died. Hmm. Happens. Mm. And now I want egg again. <laughs> Egg. 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 Ah. Uh, but we should really go shopping tomorrow and get some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Surgery. Okay. Try add Nori to the shopping list so we have that. Yeah. Why is it categorized as medical products? I have no idea. Okay, Jill. More of like a condiment. Jill, you have done a good job. You need to go take a nap now, Jill. Jill. Damn, my nori has gone off. Purple nori is bad nori. Makes sense, I suppose. I've only had sudden like boring standard like seaweed nori. Hmm. I'm doing some maintenance. Your fellow developer, have you tried finding a job for making PC games? I'm so tired of coding crappy mobile games as a job. Um I made PC games and console games, but at least in uh, the US, um, the past 10 to 15 years, uh, game development is a very unstable profession, unless you're lucky. Um, and I didn't find it conducive to live contract to contract long term for my own mental health and nothing else. Um, so I did that, made some games, had fun, met great people. I got a, good, a, lot, a lot of good experience, but it long term was not for me. Um, yeah, uh, I made games on um, Xbox 360, PS2, PSP, PS3, Wii, PC, um, and an iPhone game, which was terrible. 
Don't ever buy it. Sorry, I'm trying to get... Here and there and everywhere. And yeah, shit, living while the higher-ups make bank. Yeah, it's very, um... The, the, the turnover is very bottom heavy, I'd say. Um, and it's unfortunate because there's a lot of great people down there. Um, that should be making a lot more money in other professions, but choose to go there because that's what they want to make. That's what they want to do with their lives. And they don't get either respected or compensated well enough for it. And it's a shame. You, did you put a new radiator in? Mm-hmm. Cool. What are things? Um... I have a very narrow set of experiences mobile. It was one iPhone game on a beta version of Unity many, many years ago. And so that was pretty rough. Um, so I can't opine greatly on that. Um, console, depending on what platform you're working on, is varied. Uh, Sony is weird. Nintendo is archaic. And Xbox is very convenient if you work within their expectations. Um, PC is like whatever you want, really, which is kind of nice. Um, the tips and concepts are in the game industry. It's all contractual or temp. Yeah, it's even when you get like a quote, quote, normal full time job, it's effectively temp because you get laid off once the game is finished. You just get benefits for a bit. That's all. But not for not it is a good thing, but you're not going to you. The two studios I worked for, let's say, are no longer in business. They've gone out of business. They, they ran out of money. No, Nintendo is not cutting edge. Sorry to break it to you. At least in terms of hardware and technology. Um, uh, some gameplay design, they're, after, they're pretty innovative at times. Um, other mindsets are a little behind the curve. Like, they don't have great multiplayer support still. Um, and all my Nintendo experience was with the Wii, which was kind of weird because the Wii hardware wise, the end dev is essentially a GameCube with an extra stick of RAM duct tape in and you have motion controllers. That's it. Like it's not like a huge generational leap of a console. Um, so that was kind of weird. Uh, but I will give them credit. The motion controls of the Wii are far superior to develop with against the PlayStation Move controllers. Those are shit. Garbage, deep fried shit. Um, and yeah, to what Matt Coyfish was saying, like the corporate mentality is very behind the curve in terms of like IP flexibility and embracing independent creators, um, modding, ROMs. It's like they're very protective of their IP to a fault. Um, But it is what it is. You know, that's 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 them and they'll I think well, as time progresses, a lot of the nostalgia factor will fade a bit and they'll have to find a new audience on things that are more relevant to the current times, I'd say. Um a lot of what Nintendo's success has been for the past like 10, 15 years has been coasting on nostalgia for a lot of aspects. And that's only gonna last so long. They do good they do good things from here and there, but uh, again, a lot of it's still built on nostalgia. Um, for a lot of people at least. I can't say entirely. Um, so we'll see. I, I I want them to succeed. I think there's fantastic talent there and there's fantastic IPs and capabilities that are just a little stuck in some machinations of old management. But, uh, Sony is just really eldritch. Um, I I think they learned their lessons between the PSP and PS3. Um, and that's why the PS4 and PS5 are much more PC-like. But yeah. Time to make Mario 100, yeah. New characters. They do add new characters here and there, but it's like 
what's the new IP that Nintendo's come out in the past 20 years? Splatoon. That's it. Two Splatoon games are new IPs. Yeah. Um, their hardware is really hard to work with too. At least in the old what I worked with. Um, and Xbox was nice because it's essentially it's a it's a Windows PC. It's running a Windows kernel. It's running. It's effectively a Windows PC. What is IP? Intellectual property. Um, it's essentially the legal wrapping around uh, game themes, characters, trademarks, um, patents, uh, things of that nature. So, for example, like Mario, Super Mario is patented by Nintendo. It is a trademark and is patented as a creative work. I cannot make a Mario game because Nintendo owns it. It is their intellectual property. Hopefully that's a good explanation. Um, it's a bit recursive, but uh, hopefully the context illuminates a bit. Um, but yeah, Xbox is essentially PC. So Hello, Gordon! To bake high is raiding with 38 viewers. Welcome, Raiders. Troll them with a foghorn alert, which normally would make me shit myself, BT dubs. My cats didn't even flinch! Now following. I'm Welcome the one that in. freaks out, but like, God forbid I yell at them. They Goodbye. freak out and run out of the room. They're just like, yep, nope, done with this shit, mom. Following. Welcome in. So I'm gonna Silly, get cats, I'm sorry. Gifted subs of fame monster! Zone Woo! 57 gifted subs! Hype! I didn't turn that off. Welcome, uh, welcome in Raiders. Hello, hello. Hey Toby, Aya. thanks for the raid. How you doing? How was your stream stream? Is now following. Welcome in. Hello, Gordon. How doing? How doing? Welcome in. Thanks for all the follows. Thank you for the raid. What were you playing? Thanks for the follow, Bugsy. One. You're playing Warzone. How was Warzone? There's been a lot of like recent updates with that, right? How's that going? I know, like they like was a, a patch like a year ago. They like changed the map right drastically, right? And they added like the tunnels and whatnot. So much different now. Um, that. <laughs> have they um added uh like the anti-cheat yet because i know that's been on the gambit for a while with um vanguard but i don't know if it actually made it way back to warzone i'm deaf uh there is closed captioning on my stream if you uh if you're actually uh are hearing impaired but um Regardless, welcome in. Thanks again for the raid. Thank you for all the follows. It's um, it's Google CC, so it's a little uh, uh, hit and miss. So I'll do my best to enunciate clearly for it. Of course, I, I try to make the stream as, as accessible as possible for people. Um, Oh, okay. Sorry, I. Was... Fair enough. <laughs> uh... But yeah, thanks for the raid. Uh... Were you doing like duos, uh, solo? What were you doing for Warzone, uh, Toby? And apparently Bugsy was locked in the basement. Oh my. <laughs> again, super thank you for sharing your community with me. Uh, I hope you had a good stream stream. Um, I'm Desert Ice, Dice for short. Um, if that's your prerogative, he, him, or they, them, whatever your preference is. I am a variety streamer, mostly single player or co-op games. I co-op, I stream co-op pretty heavily with my partner, Sari. They are also co-streaming right now. There's their links if you want to give them a follow. I'd appreciate it. If you want to see both our perspectives of this cursed game that is the long drive, we do have multi-link set up, so you can see both perspectives simultaneously. Um, and yeah, this is uh, the long drive. It's a, I think, well, what do we find? Hungarian 
indie game that is uh has unique charms let's say and as a in multiplayer which is still an alpha me as a client gets a your unique perspective of the physics engine and it's very very um, unique in that aspect is now following welcome in Stop this grand entertainment. I'm glad you like it, Mad Quayfish. Uh, thanks for the follow, Brave Warrior TTTB. Uh, welcome in. So yeah, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully you're having a good Monday. Are you looking for anything specifically in the building? Honey? Hmm? You looking for anything in the building? No, just seeing what supplies are. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um. So yeah. Uh. We co stream a lot. Um. We've been playing Long Drive, trying to get to Mom's house with this diesel truck. We've also been playing Borderlands One, in anticipation of Borderlands Two. Um. We've both played that game before, but um, had a a calling to replay it. Um. We're also replaying Resident Evil 6 because it's goofy, dumb fun. Um, I mean, good Tuesday already. Well, hopefully you had a good Monday. Um, or a good whatever day, morning, evening, whatever. I I'll, I'll hope you're having a lovely time zone. Um, my head hurts with the amount of lag with the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely an acquired taste. Um, but again, if you want to see a much more calm experience with the physics, definitely check out my partner's uh, stream. They are the host of this game, and because of that, experience much less chaos. So definitely go give them a follow if you want to see that. Um, so yeah, uh... And hopefully, um, Brave Warrior, the CC works well enough for you. I I got it set up a while back and I haven't tuned it very well. So I, again, I'll try my best to make it work as well, uh, as well as I can for you. Um, we were also just talking about game development. So um, we were going over those various platforms and whatnot. What happened to the truck? Oh, it's in the ground. Okay. Um, and we're going over like Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, and sort of the different philosophies um, they're in. Uh, I worked on actually all of their platforms for a time way back when and sort of gave my input and perspective. Um, thanks, nah. Sad swimming. Yeah, we're, our truck likes to be subterranean. Sand swimming. Yeah. We were making the joke earlier that it's like uh, tremors. What truck form? Truck tremors. Rashers. Thanks, hey, so I was both chatting. It was amazing chatting with you. You're both great. Good night. Have a good night. I uh, appreciate you stopping by, Eugen. Hopefully, you sleep well. And again, thanks for hanging out. Take care. Oh, and uh, Toby, uh, I I know I stopped by a while back, but congrats on your partnership if you're still here. Um, that was really cool. I know you got that a little bit ago, but um, have a hydrate. Uh, I'll do the hydrate. Uh, again, congrats on partnership. Well earned. Hydrate done. Thank you. Ah. Yeah, it was generally we're having a chill night, chatting with you know, chat, hanging out, bullshitting, shooting the shooting the shit, um, just 
generally hanging out because uh, I had insomnia last night, so I didn't sleep well, so I'm a little under energy. Um, there is a little under the weather because of allergies, so we're both a little, a little worse for wear, but we're hanging in there and just trying to have a good time. Thanks again for the hydrate. Um, this also reminds me of like this old 90s or 80s cartoon called Street Sharks, where you had like the avatars like swimming through the ground as well, but it was like concrete and asphalt. That was a really weird cartoon for kids. back and we're good okay cool um how long have we been in the desert i thought we were in iceland a bit ago uh i mean i don't know for a solid like five or ten minutes okay i probably because i was distracted um cool i like the desert have you seen any good boats nope but we don't need to stop at boats anyways all right, because the tank is pretty full and we don't want to over encumber our weight, right? It should work, sir. There you go. Let me go double check the bot permissions on it. Yeah, it's set to everyone. Or do you mean a different command, sir? commands and, and make sure I find the right one. Hmm. Hello, Gordon. Hey, Harry. I did get like a f three or four hour nap this afternoon. Um, then we ate and uh, we hung out for a bit and then we started to stream for a while. And then uh, Kai raided me and then an old friend Toby Kai raided me. Which are both surprising and amazing. Ready to light. How you doing, Harry? How was work? Any luck with um, the training of the new guy? seen in three times so i figured it'd be a be a link i'm just gonna go back out at this awkward moment it's you're good sir it's fine I... there's technically two links in there but you're good i'm just glad it's all clear um yeah i also have that uh man a while ago i think i did something equivalent on sari stream or no Mira did that one for me, from you, right? What? The dice command on your channel, did you or Mira make it? Mira initially made it and I changed it up. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And how's your day going, Surf? I, uh, hopefully you're doing well. Exactly, he nodded a lot, asked some questions, some good, some bad, but at least he's asking. 
Yeah, it'd be worse if he was like like a uh, silent to start like showing up to get the paycheck kind of thing. When the expectations for it going to be like ramping up and taking more responsibility and whatnot. So that's at least good, but yeah, it's I wish you the best with that, with that cause I know it's I'm sure it's um a unique challenge, let's say. Um helping someone come in and ramp them up is uh a little on the challenging side, but hopefully yeah, again Best of luck. Uh, I saw Nessa end her stream early. Hopefully she's feeling okay. I know she's been going off here and there sometimes. I got it. I got it. I to demonstrate they absolutely do not have it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the the, the false projection of competency, um, because like you just it makes it harder to take them at their word that they understand something when they. It'd just be better if they admit like, no, I need you know a refresher on X, Y, or Z, so you get the deeper comprehension of a given topic. That way they can, you know, help out with the overall projects, but personality types and whatnot, they vary. <laughs> I had to leave for errands, so I missed Monday painting. Yeah, I, I think she did a, a, a good amount of work, but I think she had she wasn't feeling well and had to end early. And I hope she feels better. It's like, not feeling well sucks. Um, I love seeing her Monday pinning, so it's it's really neat to lurk and watch. Right, she wasn't feeling well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I peeked in and her stream was over. It's like, oh, I guess something's not great. Happens. I think she was also up late the night before playing Faz with JoJo, so that might have not helped things too. What could you do? I say that and I'm also sleep deprived, so I really can't. Can't throw stones in my glass house. <laughs> uh. What have you? Uh, oh, that reminds me. We need to still get um, something to frame Nessa's stuff that she sent. I don't think Amazon would be a good source for that or what. Do you have any ideas? Figured we'd just go to some place like Michael's or something and have it professionally done. Okay. Yeah, man, Koi Fish, I was up early because I didn't sleep really. Um, and I got brought up in my office where I was leaving Sarah to sleep in, in the bedroom. Uh, I just felt like I wanted to stream to sort of hang out and play some Infra Space, which is not a good game. Um, I've been having fun with. Pretty, getting pretty close to like the end phase of it. I'm. I'm on my last set of technologies, the only thing really left is the ship repair, and I think that's it for what's in the game currently. Um, yeah, I, I did a, uh, an unusual morning stream, uh, which was fun. Um, Harry showed up, Hero showed up, a um, few other people came and hung out, and it was really cool. Very, very nice to sit down and have a chat, especially with a chill game like that. Um,
Managed to see tubes and buildings before passing out. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of like a a city skyline kind of theme game, but it's sci-fi and it's more focused on logistics and less so about the aesthetics of a city. There is still some aesthetics, but it's less of a focus. Um, and it's still very much in development, so they're adding a lot of content. Um, but still super fun. Uh, highly recommend. Um, especially right now, I think it's this is an early access, so I've got a discount, so it's a fun play. If you like City Skyline, if you like sim games like that, really. Really is oh. now following. Welcome. Thanks, thanks for the follow. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, again, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Um. Yeah. I mean, if SimCity mixed with Satisfactory, yeah, it's a very good um, analogy. Um, it also has some elements of things like uh, Factorio or Dice and Sphere Project, if you're familiar with those games. Um, but it's definitely closer to SimCity or um, City Skyline, like City Builders. I also have something like an easy mode where all the like the traffic collisions turned off, so I really don't have to micromanage that. But you can get really in depth with like micromanaging traffic patterns. It's kind of cool. Like if you're familiar with City Skylines, um, Graphic Master mod or whatever, um, it effectively has the same functionality but built into the game, which is pretty cool. What did we run into? Honey? What? What did we run into? Oh, okay. Sorry. Um. Yeah. It's uh, very fun. Um, that was Ryan's I need to get back into the DSP because like there's been a few patches of new content. Um, uh, that game is also really fun. It's very neat if you looked into the, the space exploration kind of aspect of things because you get to fly around a galaxy effectively. Um, really cool. Um, but definitely not for everyone because like if you're trying to like sim automation games. May not be your jam. Is there anything I can help you with, honey? Okay, guess not. You have a large gap in game experiences I've quit for a decade or so. Yeah, that'll do it. Emulation has gotten a lot better. Um, you can effectively emulate like a GameCube, Wii, or PS2 more or less. Um, don't know if there's great emulators for Xbox that I know of. Like all the mobile games. Uh, platforms have emulations now. Kind of burned on the post Dreamcast era. Yeah, there was like a big lull that it kind of crashed and burned. Um, I don't know if it crashed and burned, but it didn't do as well as a lot of people were hoping. Um, but I'm, um, you know, yeah, Neo Geo is getting pretty good. Uh, what's kind of neat, like some of the older mobile platforms can be emulated on your cell phones these days like both I think I don't know iOS but Android definitely has a good suite of emulators you can run for like D uh, DS or native Game Boy games and runs pretty well um I that's how I played Trauma Center after I played on my friend's DS back in college um I, uh, I wanted to come back to it years later and then I just loaded it on my phone
on PSP than Wii and Wii U. Yeah, it's it's been getting really good. Can't complain. Um. Yeah. Well, it's like um, ASUS has like a gamer oriented phone that has some serious hardware packed into it. it has active air cooling. So you could really, really you know crank that up and get some really cool games playing on mobile natively. It's wild. Um. Speaking of mobile, I actually, uh, finally, my stream deck, my, not stream deck, Steam deck, uh, rolled out of its queue, and so I finished paying for it and should be on its way. So I should be able to play some handheld games with that soon. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yes and no. There's some other sources that are not too bad. I, I definitely agree there's definitely a good cohort of dodgy sites amongst the group that um Ioneo yeah Ioneo like I've heard good things once you get used to it um and it's very flexible and it's designed, like you can open it up and change out the SSD and whatnot um uh there was another one that was really good as well but I'm really excited for the, the Steam Deck because I know there's a lot of um a lot of like industry-wide like concentration on making that work um like a lot of games have like gone back and patched it uh to be more compatible with it so i'm really excited to see how that plays out i really think it's going to be a fun game changer in terms of like mobile pc games Yeah, there's def. Uh, yeah, I, I did. I don't doubt that. There's certainly some iffy things on Alibaba sometimes. Yeah. Well, the, I think the OS is still just Steam OS, which is open source, so anyone can do that. There's nothing necessarily wrong with the software side of things. Um, the hardware, I think, is where you might get. Uh, uh, gray territory or iffy waters. Yeah. Yeah. Some small Chinese like small like backwater like hardware is like just always a, a toss up. Like unless you go with something like, you know, a Beagle Bone or a Raspberry Pi or Arduino. You really have to like roll the dice every time you get like a new PCB. Yeah. An arm is definitely great for battery life, it's just not well, most traditional ARM chips are not super performant. They've always traded off performance for efficiency. The newer ones, I think, um, on the latest generation with the new spec, are definitely up there with performance and still maintaining good efficiency. Uh, I do hope that that adds a new, unlocks a new set of capabilities for mobile gaming. Because um, x86 is great for a lot of things. Uh, but efficiency on battery is not one of them. Um, that's why like the middle board never really took off as an x86 you know, portable board. No one wanted it. Why? Because it just it ate through battery. It was super power hungry for what it was doing. Um, and ARM is not that bad, really. It, it's still like you write your normal language, just compile to it. Odin. I don't think I'm familiar with that one, but... So I, I can't opine. NDP is not bad. Um, I have to, I have to uh, read the specs to the hardware, but as you're saying, if it's probably running like a um, an ARM chip with some like um, vertex graphing on the chip itself, um, you probably could run some older games on it. 
but I wouldn't put anything like modern next gen stuff on it. Unless you turn it like way down low. That's still a maybe. I really don't have a need for a mobile toy. Not like a shame shame train anymore or spend lots of time out with a new idea. With it, with the idea of things being in such small packaging is exciting. That's my thing about it. Um, I'm excited about the small form factor. I'm excited about like decent gaming on the, on the go. I think it's going to be exciting. I'm also interested to see what the input story is going to evolve to with the new touch pads and joysticks. Um, since they redid the controllers um, from like the old Steam controllers for Steam Deck. I'm really fascinated to see how that like evolves. And I know a lot of people have done a lot of work for them. So I think it's a very exciting time in that. Uh, controllers are really hard to get right uh, and really easy to get wrong. So I hope they can keep iterating on that aspect. Um, Hopefully, like even you know, future versions will be that much better. And then, since also a lot of design is built in to work with Steam natively in its ecosystem, if I'm at home, I could just like still stream a game from my desktop to it, use my desktop's power, but like game in the living room or in the bedroom and just like play small little games and just have fun. Um, that I think is going to be really cool. Um, so it's exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what it can do. And not for not like that, the chip it has is x86. It's running an AMD with R2 DNA, R2 DNA, R DNA, whatever. Uh, integrated graphics. So it's not that it sneezes at. It's actually a decent chip for the price, especially. Um, exciting, really exciting. At least the US definitely lacks it. I think a good chunk of oh. Europe is good with it though. Doggo! SP Retriever. Nice. It's a good dog. Um, but yeah, definitely US, Canada. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the Americas are lacking good train community like use cases. But Western Europe would definitely be a, a rich market, I think, for it. Sorry, I'm just a little on the sleepy side. Resident Genshin rot. It's not going to grinding tonight. Uh, I don't know what that means. Suri is the one that plays more Genshin than I do. Um, what is what? What happens when resin rots, honey? What does that mean? Nothing. Quayfish just means that resin is one of the energy systems that refills every single day. So that technically, if you don't use it up every single day, you're letting it go to waste. Okay. So, Thank you. They're... 
I appreciate it because I honestly had no idea what that meant. Yeah, it's kind of a currency. That makes sense. Okay. So it's like some resin on 24 hour timers and some on weekly timers or like, how does that work? Okay, so it's like timer daily kind of things. So that makes sense. Just pause up every 20 minutes. Does it fly up all the way up to 160, or is it like just there's a set amount and then eventually the cap is 160? Um, but to your earlier point. Those live service games are like kind of built around that notion where you have uh, an incentive for recurring interaction that's on a daily interval or something like that. So it's the nature of the beast that's fine when you trade in for you to get a free game. One resin per 20 minutes till it hits 160 and anything over that just gets voided. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That makes sense. Kitchen though has multiple currencies, daily things, so it gets old after a while, tracking it all. That's sort of the point though, is to have all those like various synthetic currencies to A, obscure what you're actually doing or paying for, and B, give you more like instant gratification Skinner box, like uh, dopamine hits of like number going up, even though they're functionally quite interchangeable in the sense that like they're a means to for another end. Makes management of weapons, materials, etc. in Breath of the Wild to make child's play. Oof. Oof. That sounds rough. play because I like the Breath of the Wild World stuff. Yeah, I've heard it's very similar in that it borrows a lot of like theming and, and, and uh, design from Breath of the Wild. I mean, like I've heard, I think you've told me, honey, that it's basically Breath of the Waifu kind Hello, of game. Initialo, why is the trailer janking around? Um, this is the long drive multiplayer and I am the client. Uh, the client gets the short and stick uh, synchronization and networking weirdness. So, and it just hops around. Mr. Hacking though was a huge amount of replay fun in Breath of the Wild. Interesting. I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet. Um, at some point I'd like to. And yes, the trailer and the entire world are pretty much jank. For sure. Jank land, yes. Yeah, mess with weapon specs. Cool. 
Do you like change out parts and whatnot or just like augment? How's that work? So everything in a 180 degree angle gets bomb arrowed. Damn, that sounds overpowered. I love it. Thanks for the relax now. Hope you're doing well. You know, save hacks or memory hacks. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm sure like my PC that was like a cheat engine where you can do really crazy things once you know what memory addresses to manipulate but, like game genie on crack well, That's that's probably cool like uh community made skins and whatnot i'm sure that like oh yeah it's like a new level of like customization for like the steam workshop does for other games yeah emulation is probably a limitation and i think it's a limitation probably because like the platforms are generally usually pretty locked down too so how much you can manipulate them without invasive work is limited. Basically, patch holes for jailbreaking. Yeah, a lot of platforms do that. It's it's one of the ways they combat like piracy. So they force the pa the platform to iterate frequently. So any fork of it that gets you know uh, cracked or hacked or whatever, it's where you can do like jailbreaking, custom ROM stuff like that. Uh, quickly fade off like usefulness. That sucks, in my opinion. Ah, uh, I think for some games a switch can pull off 1080p 60, but I think you have to uh, run it through like the TV connection. But it has to be on some games. I don't think you can do it in every, in every game. You might know, honey. Do you know if the Switch can run um, 1080p 60 frames per second? I have no idea. Okay. Sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I just don't know. Hmm. I've never... I don't care about that kind of stuff, so I don't know if it does or not. Yeah. For the while to AP on switches for 30 frames. Okay. And that's roughly the same bit rate, but not the same pixel push necessarily. Yeah, I don't know. It is it is still mobile hardware, so they have to, you know. And not use case accommodate that power profile. Yeah, it does still hold up. It's everything I've seen in the game is very pretty, and I've heard nothing but positive motivations for the sequel. Like I know a lot of people are hyped for it. 
um so look forward to it hopefully it um meets expectations and exceeds them so that'd be good for them Oh, it's 11.30. You want to perhaps find a good stopping point and wrap up for the night? Some ways, such as physics, is really superior to many other games. Genshin took forever for me to get used to it, the lack of it. Yeah, once you become accustomed to something, yeah, I'm sure. It takes a minute to get used to like something different. Have we a Brandon Rhodes? No, I'm well. According to the client, uh, we are. Uh, well, the host is on the road. I'm not because I'm I'm the, I'm the client. I'm out of sync. Um, but we are progressing on said road. Uh, if you want to see the road. I would suggest hopping over to my partner's stream. They're the host of this game. It's multiplayer. Um, so you can see that perspective. Uh, if you want to see both and see how like the desync between client and server is, or client and host, um, there's the multi-links. So you can see the, the, um, the separation on that. You there, honey? Excuse me for a moment. Hello? What? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm just cleaning ice out of the freezer. Oh, okay. We just stopped it, I didn't know why. Sorry. Because uh, I just had stuff. I was going to go to wire refill and I noticed that our ice machine has been dumping ice instead of into the container, so, I mean, you don't need me here. Um... Yeah, it's a little still. Um... Tell you what, it's kind of late. Um... I'm gonna find someone to raid and drop you guys off to. Um... If for all the raiders that showed up and hung out, if you like what you see, please consider following. Um, usually it's a chill, best area to hang out and play fun games. Um, my frequently multiplayer co-op games. But uh, so yeah, I'm going to switch to my end scene and um, find someone to raid out to. Um, if you're new here, there's all my social links, uh, Twitter, Discord, Hover. If you're not on Hover, check it out. Um, I have a referral link, um, uh, Dice69, if you are signing up. Uh, it's a great platform. It's sort of like better TikTok, in my opinion. Um, but let's see where we can drop you guys off for the night. Uh, let's see. If you're there, do you have any opinion on who to read out to? No. I don't have enough people to read with, so I won't, I'm just ending stream. Okay. Um. Let's read out to... Uh, Pyre, because he also has closed captioning set up. I know that's there's one person that would appreciate that. And Pyro is a good person. Really funny guy. He's playing team, uh, team fight tactics. Yeah, I appreciate everyone hanging up, uh, hanging out, uh, and the raids and the follows and the subs and the bits. All y'all are awesome. Um, appreciate all every one of you. Uh, grab your raid messages. I hope you have a great day, good afternoon, good evening, or a good night. 
at the end. I hope you have some good luck. Good night and goodbye.